And we're live! Hey. Hello and welcome to Zero Page Homebrew Wednesday Edition. That's right. Where we play new games on classic consoles. And we have Erlen here today. And we're going, yes, yes. I'm going to turn up the volume a bit. Yeah, it's check, a bit... check, check, check. Yeah, there it's, we go. it's in the yellow, which is good. Yeah. I'm, I'm just so much quieter than Darcy. That's the... That is true. That's yeah, the problem we, we face. I wouldn't be able to turn it up that much with Darcy. He gets animated. Yeah, I'm a mumbler. I'm just <laughs> like... <laughs> Straight out of Mumblecore films. <laughs> unless I, unless I, you know, get in very close. Yes. But we don't want that. So, uh, we got Dan, uh, VK, Carl G, Thrust, Ayas Bosta, and I saw all the usual suspects. Ground Trooper was in the chat earlier. He hasn't You're outing posted him. yet. Oh no! I'm sorry, <laughs> Ground. Once I did that on on the chat. Yeah. And I was reading out the list of people who haven't um, typed anything, and somebody went ballistic. He's really? like, "You're not supposed to do that." I guess it's oh. an unwritten rule. Is it okay? I will. That I will but it's not. Fine. I will it's not fine. break he, this. Rule. And he's not here anymore. Oh, he ran away. He ran away. But um, I mean, he's a regular, so it's yeah. not that bad. But I was like reading out people who um, got no mail notification <gasps> that for the show. Terrible Twitch. Why Twitch? Yeah, that's weird. Hmm. Mm. Well, you're here. You made it, so you know. Because on Wednesdays it's 11 a.m. Yeah, our time over there. It's whatever time in Europe. Yeah. Um, However, the yeah. time zones. How the everybody's work, yes, because there's a lot in Europe. And As Ascabo? 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 I don't know. Did anyone else not get notification? Um, so hopefully some people got it, some people didn't. Um, but you're here. Yeah. And if you're not here, you're watching it on YouTube or catching it uh, late on on Twitch because you can you can watch it yeah. on Twitch. Could before. you imagine being Twitch and having to manage the amount of like user use? Oh like my it God. would be an unreal. I don't know what those servers would look like. I don't know what. Yeah. Well, I mean, nowadays they they farm out servers. Like there's like uh, Amazon has servers and Microsoft has servers and they just kind of turn them on as needed. Yeah. Um, but still, it's a huge undertaking. And if anything goes wrong, you've got hundreds of thousands of people emailing you all at once saying this isn't working ah and, and for a second like literally like 10 yeah. seconds of a, of a thing and it's yeah. like oh um so pac-man red got a notification and cool. welcome pac-man red yeah i would give anything to, to get like a tour of like one of those farms just to see what they look like like it would be pretty interesting uh for a second <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're just big noisy cold or hot rooms it's with just rows and rows of racks of computers that yeah. are all blinking and they're in cages and they're all locked up and that's it that's it that's i mean if if you're really really into networking hardware you'll probably blow your mind and you'd be like wow this is amazing but in general it's yeah it's pretty boring because i worked probably... at an isp before yeah so i saw it on a small scale right just rows and racks of so computers have this, and stuff the thing that's so romantic about that though is that's where so much of our lives are living right now that's the yes. crazy part and yeah. it's just that would be the humbling thing to walk into this room and be like right here is literally the thing that's connecting the whole world and it's just a room well i mean they highlighted that on black mirror on a couple episodes where they the ending is going to a server uh, uh and it's just like these blinking lights and they they represented the people as blinking lights. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, that's where we live now. That's, that's where our our lives reside or our enter at least our entertainment comes from and where we put our memories. Yeah. So everything that's not our physical form. There's a lot out there that just lives on on the internet. Hi, Impaler twenty six. Welcome. So, so I, I don't know. I feel humbled in the face of all that. So if yeah. we got no email notification, it's not that. Are we even there? If we I didn't know. get notified. You know, but also <laughs> like there's just you think about the amount of data that's being streamed and thrown all around the world. It's it's, it's absolutely it's nuts. Lot. It's a lot. Uh, so we got four games today. Oh wow, four. Three brand new ones. One Ooh. one of those is a revisit, but it's still three 2019 new builds. Um, and a throwback to a 2003 game. Oh, wow. So we've got Billy the Ball um, by Atari 2600 Land. Uh, we're revisiting Whitewater Madness because there's been a lot of updates to it. And I, I never played that one. Perfect. So Excellent. So it'll be new to me. Also by Atari 2600 Land. And that was totally coincidental. 
I didn't realize that till I was like, oh my god, I've got two games by the same person. So it's Atari 2600 Land Day. Uh, <laughs> and the third game is Katron by Ascabo, who is in the chat. Mm. And it's his uh, hey, first game. Oh, really? Yeah, his first and only game so far. And that's uh, 2019. All, all the first three games are works in progress. They're still ongoing. Uh, oh, unless you upload original music to MySpace, that 10 years is lost, yes. All those all those servers that are shut down. That's the crazy part, right? Gone. Gone. And there's there's actual um, organizations that are trying to preserve the data on these servers. Oh, yeah. And these, these companies are trying to block them from siphoning off the data and storing it elsewhere. Because it's really costly for somebody to go through every single thing and download it and offload it onto somewhere oh, it's else. Unreal. But it's lost forever. Like MySpace, tons of uh, tons of music was on there, original music that is just no more. There was a site called MP3.com. That's just gone. And you know, I put music up there, and and tons and tons of people from you know a certain point to another certain point. All their music is gone, unaccessible, because maybe they don't do music anymore. They're not interested in re-uploading it. Well, that's one of the reasons why it'd be. it's always for anyone in the homebrew community to get a cartridge made is a cool thing, because to have something on hardware is, you know... Yes, it, it, you, it's preserved forever, or, yeah. or a game on a disc, or a music on a CD, or, a, or a vinyl, or, or something. Something the physical so that we can hold on to, because... I mean, yeah. it, God knows what's going to happen. But also, media is so fast. That's where we're at now. It's just, it's, yep. it's faster than and, it's ever been. And e e EMP could hit the earth and it's, everything it's virtual is wiped out. Yep. And the f the fourth game, yes, Thress said, Climber 5 by Dennis Debro, a.k.a. Debro. And Ascabo stands for uh, Adriano Sabo. There we go. Cool. Yeah, nothing lives forever, even on the internet. Yep. That's the the, the bit truth. rot we experience every day. Yeah, well, we slowly. we feel like we're we'll we'll find some sort of immortality with our creation, but that's just it's just that an is what us artists try and do. Just is an extension of the ourselves inevitable, man. <laughs> through our art, and really, it's only preserved if it reaches a certain threshold of you know popularity. Yeah, I mean, and even then, that's not guaranteed Correct. because films from the early 1900s are just gone. Oh yeah. They were never transferred to new medium. They were just thrown away. Totally. They went up in smoke. They got burned. They never made backups. Same with like just the most famous examples, probably Doctor Who. They just rewrote over the tapes. That's like, crazy. Ah, man. Who cares about who this? Who needs this Doctor? This yeah. dopey thing with like so like decades know. are lost of Doctor Who here and there, and you know they're for cutting costs. They're like we need to reuse these tapes. Who, who cares see. about these old programs? It's because back in the day they didn't air reruns. No, the TV it back in the day once. was just like just pissing in the wind. They're like, let's yeah. just throw this out. It, yeah, and they know. And nowadays, like TV is like, oh, oh. we're gonna watch this thing over and over. Well, that's and where over. they get a lot of money from, and like rewatchability of The Office yeah, over right. and over. DVD Friends sales forever, changed right? it, right? That's that's what did change it. TV shows on DVD changed that whole thing. It, it, new medium was born, and it's yeah. like, because yeah, before. It's like, oh, people want to rewatch Friends over and over and over, or, or Seinfeld? It's like, yeah, they do. They love these shows. Oh, so. yeah. I love in Doctor Who that literally the bit is that they just need to like get a new actor, so like, we'll just write it in. It's like a new Doctor <laughs> yeah. regenerates, and, and, and so now it's funny. part of the story, but like, I imagine the first person who pitched like, that in a meeting would be like, like, oh, yeah, he can shapeshift and just transfer into new bodies yeah. like how are we gonna fire phil <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh, i know oh, science that's fiction <laughs> that's part of the lore <laughs> bam it's so genius anyway mm -hmm. this is tangents uh so i want to thank the twitch subscribers gredams ground trooper ie sposta johnny wc23 mr fix rc70 and dan tiki dan k and you can support the show and subscribe for free if you link your amazon prime to twitch prime and click that subscribe button yeah, keep the costs low. Well, they definitely did that on Doctor Who. Oh, yeah. It's like, what do we have around here to make a monster? <laughs> we got a garbage can lid and some tin foil and some tubing. Yeah, good enough. Yeah, let's do it. That's that's a good monster. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> How many years? I mean, I think, what is the, the early like stuff? was 50 years ago. I think well, yeah. the 60s, right? It it's, started? I and they stopped for a while and came on. Yeah, and, but... off and on. But it's had a resurgence. People love sci-fi. It never oh. never goes away because we always want to 
what's ha what's going to happen in the future? What could possibly be in the future? And there's so much freedom. It's infinite. Problem with like yeah. friends is like there's only so many people you, they can sleep with in the group. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's like there's the pairing. The sitcom problem is like you you run, you run out run of out. interpersonal dynamics quick. Yeah, but there's if you like can, a list of tropes that you go through, and yeah. maybe you find some twists on them. But if you, you can run teleport out. to a new dimension every week. Unlimited. That shit's gold, man. You do it for fifty years. Yep. So let's get to the mail, the news, and the feedback. Um, some big news. Uh, Stella 6.0 is now on the Retron 77. Wow. Um, the Retron 77 <laughs> is this inadequate box that was uh, released oh, um, yeah. that you could put cartridges in and you could play games from ROMs. But it was an ancient version of an Atari 2600 emulator called Stella. Yeah. It was Stella 3.0. And it had... And it was before you could do um, uh, video synchronization so that so there was screen tearing when you're moving oh. horizontally and it was terrible looking. And it didn't support a lot of new homebrew games. So the community took up the uh, challenge. Oh, really? And they made a lot of advancements. But recently, a couple days ago, um, Dirty Harry posted on Saturday... That the community build of Stella for Retron 77 has been updated to Stella 6.0. Which now it plays every single homebrew game out there. So now it's definitely worth it actually is getting. totally worth getting. And uh, Thomas, also, Thomas also works on, on that project as well. Um, and there's still more room to It's hardware, to right? Like the Retron 77 yeah. is. It's hardware but upgradable... Um, upgradable back end like the software on it is yeah. upgradable and that's what they're replacing um the hardware is obviously adequate enough to run the emulator so the um i love hyperkin trooper joysticks are they actually good i mean um i obviously the first gen of the ones that came with it br broke very easily yeah um but then they reissued them and uh, I suppose to likes the new ones. And I haven't seen too many complaints well, about I the new ones. So. I suppose to given a thumbs up is probably yep. good, man. Yep. I think he's a, he's a trustworthy it, one. Yeah, I'd probably put it through its paces. Um, so they uh, really said, Ladies and gentlemen, the Stella team is proud and happy to present the first beta release of Stella 6 running on the R77. Wow. With this release, you will get Stella 6 on your R77 at full speed, including cycle exact audio, TV emulation, scan lines and phosphor, all with beautiful tear-free sync, V-Sync. And that was the killer for me. Yeah. I mean, besides not being able to play all the games, I didn't want to play any games on it because there was such bad tearing. Like, like part of the screen would be just a bit off from the other part of the screen. I, I'm sure you've seen that, that kind of... Um, in video games, if things aren't... Yeah. If the screen's not fast enough, it's not in sync with the video card, part of the screen will be ahead of the other like it'd be writing this part before it's writing this part oh so and there'd be a slight shift ugh. and it looks terrible yes um with this release uh while this release is f fully working and playable it's a beta so there are a few known issues the color black and white and four five three and 16 by nine buttons are swapped not a big deal just use the other one <laughs> 16 by nine mode is not yet available anybody who plays in 16 by nine mode is silly anyway because yeah. it actually stretches out the original picture and makes it look bad and stretched. But yeah. maybe you want to fill your screen. Or would it crop it, potentially? Uh, I mean, either seems not great. Yeah, it, it might it might crop it, but I think it's a stre the stretched yeah. out is what well, it seems implying. like you, you, The only two things I can think is crop and stretch, and neither is anything no. you want. You, you want the, the original ratios, so it looks like you you know it and and round things are actually round and not like not like oblong <laughs> yeah, why does everything turn into a <laughs> yeah it's so weird and there may be some issues with aspect ratio correction for pal games so so play the ntsc ntsc versions um and speaking of stella um just a reminder that we're going to be doing a fundraising Ooh, for stella damn for all the wonderful people at stella that are doing this great work and keep improving the emulation for PCs so that all these people can do their testing while making games. It's a huge deal. It is. Um, so we're going to be doing that later this year. Probably a 12-hour 
marathon. 12 hours. Yeah, so are you in? Dude, I'm in. part of it? Uh, I'll be, I'll, do dude, I'll thing. do all 12 hours if you need awesome. me. Awesome. If, uh, if, if, it, if it works for the show for me to switch yeah. out, I'll switch out. But if oh. you need me for all 12, I'm there, man. Perfect. That sounds fun. So we're probably well, going to do it on a Saturday. And we'll have to get, we'll, we'll, we'll get, get crazy, dark. man. Yeah. After like, oh yeah, you after get delusional. six like, hours, Whoa. you'll learn something new about all of us. You'll see the, you'll see yeah. the, the people of, we are. A lot of time filling, a lot of delving in the archives of our minds about, you know, past stories. Um, so yeah, we'll probably do it on a Saturday in the summer or fall. Some sometime then, Man, not, not yet, but uh, it is stupid how little I do on Saturdays. So I'm <laughs> perfect. <laughs> uh, gallons of coffee, yeah. We'll have to have coffee on the go. Yeah, a big big drum of it. Um, I won't drink it, of course. I'll just have my water. <laughs> yeah, maybe some pop to hype me up, get me going. I don't normally we'll, drink we'll pop. We'll see by by uh, by hour eight. Maybe some liquor will come out. It'll oh get, it'll boy, get, we'll yeah, see. We'll maybe. see where we go. We'll some see. drunk playing. Yeah. Because after like you know eight hours of playing, there's yeah, only you one option. Little, it's it's the, <laughs> hit the liquor. The, the only way out is through at that point. Yeah, and I suppose says good idea for uh, marathon for Stella. Yeah. Uh, when I thought of it, I thought, yeah, that's, we need to give, give back to the community and give back to these wonderful people that are putting in years of time, decades of time into Stella because they need new hardware to test things on because they have to make sure everything works for, for Stella. So they need a lot of, a lot of hardware and, and just set aside time because when you're doing hobbies or, or things that don't make you money you have to say okay i can either spend four hours working on something that doesn't make me money or four hours working on something that does make me money hard choice <laughs> so it is a hard choice for a lot of people and they just don't have the um you know the ability to have that time set aside and so maybe this will help give them a little bit more extra time to put into stella which benefits everyone benefits me benefits developers which in turn benefits all the people that enjoy these games so i think it's it's gonna it's a worthwhile cause <laughs> yeah what do you would we do like a 10 to 10 kind of deal or something like that 11 to 11 yeah, like, yeah. I, i'm thinking something like that 10 starting at 10 or 11 around that time because it's a good start time for people in europe and but then... also a good end time for people in north america totally and so it works all around the world and if we yeah because if we went to, like actually uh, probably a good start time uh, a good end time for people in europe again because they'll just be waking up well, that would be amazing <laughs> so they can, can watch the end where we're all delusional <laughs> yeah we'll just be like we won't know who we are i'll be blackout drunk and everyone uh, beat us <laughs> Um, but it's like a good time to catch up on games, too, that you wanted to put more time yeah. into. It's like, oh, we wanted to finish this game, but we've never had the time to finish this RPG, because those are really long. Hell right? yeah. Uh, hey, Kev, welcome. Stella's really come a long way, as uh, Impaler says. I started using emulation when Z26 was still the best 2600 emulator. I think I, I use Z26 as well, back in the uh, mid-90s. Yeah. And I think Atari was my first. Yeah. Atari or Nintendo was one of my first emulators that I played on, used on a PC. It's you probably know. Nintendo, but Atari shortly after. It'll also be interesting because a twelve-hour stream, pro pro streamers do that every day. Well, that's their job. That's like, the, that's how they make money, and they get all these ding 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 donations well, yeah, coming up. And that's right? how, because the idea is, is if you ever want to watch them, you hit play, and they're they're playing a game. <laughs> you just know they're always on. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, um, uh, I think it was, uh, what was it? The five hundred hour month was the was the challenge. I think that was the number. Too. Well, that's like twelve hours a day, twelve or fourteen. Yeah, twelve or fourteen hours a day. So it would be hey, interesting Dan, for us to, welcome. to that's see a new name, I think. see what that feels like. Just, uh, just as, a, just I did as a, a bit of research. I did a 26-hour right? radio marathon once. Dude, okay, yeah, you know what's up. So I did 24 hours plus our regular two-hour show. Whoa. <laughs> it was, you get delusional. Oh, get I imagine. Mad. So some ideas for it that I've come up with for um, doing on the show, on on the 12-hour uh, uh, marathon, or however long it's going to be. 12 hours is a nice 12 time. sounds fun. Yeah. Um, donations for game suggestions and game challenges amazing so they can say you know i challenge you you know here's here's whatever dollars and you have to do this play this game and do this and you can't stop until you get this score or something it has to be reasonable well, yeah. <laughs> it has to be achievable but it's still challenging right 
Um, and we could also do, like I said, complete games that we've been meaning to get around to. Um, and also get some donations and auction off some stuff. Yeah, so you to raise that would money be amazing. For donated prizes. So people can donate, you know, rare cartridges or just cartridges in general. Um, and then, you know, the top bidder can, can win that. But all the money goes to Stella. That's amazing. Yeah. That's a, that's a really good idea, man. Yeah. And so uh, if anybody else out there has um, some good ideas for what we could do on the marathon yeah. later this year, just drop me a line in the Atari Age forums or any of the social media that I'm on. And uh, yeah, my new Atari Age name is Zero Page Space Homebrew. It's amazing. I'm so happy Yay. that that turned out for you, man. Yes. Yeah, we it looks a lot better rather than my old name that nobody knows what yeah, it is. Yeah, and it's just also, it just keeps things simpler, you know? Yes, yeah, keep it all the same. <clears throat> Hi, Emu Dan. <clears throat> so, uh, a couple of games recently declared themselves complete uh, in the forums, and we'll be heading to a cartridge release soon, including Avalanche, which is by Champ Games, which we played on Friday. Um, Miss Galactopus. Uh, which we already played way back in the day, and One on One, uh, which we played pretty recently, which EA Smith says will probably be released under the title One Versus One Basketball, because there's already a game called One on One, something, 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 so he's just being he's careful about it. it. That's yeah. a smart thing. You're always going to be careful with that. Yeah, you don't want to get in trouble. You want to be able to just keep selling your game and not worry about uh, copyright uh, or trademark problems. Um. And during the break, before we came back to this year two. Yeah, season two. <laughs> season year two. two. Yeah. Um, we, I did, I, f I, I played a game with my friend Corey here, and it wasn't a homebrew game. It was Frostbite, which was made by Activision. Um, you said he's really good at it, eh? He's like... He got fourth place in the world. Jeez. So that I, tells you something. Because he was running the controller, right, when we were doing the... Yes, he yeah. was on the mixing board during the, um, award, the award show. show. Yeah. And he, I remember he was talking about it. He was like, he was like, hey, James, can we play that? <laughs> can, can we play the Frostbite? Would, uh, yeah, can we get that Frostbite going? And I was like, hell yeah, you're, he's really good. So I knew he would place really high. I think he could... He was just off third place. Yeah. just off the, like, like, he needs to do it again dvd, DVD release go for it download all the videos and put it on dvd <laughs> uh you can do it all you want just don't don't sell it but um yeah that would be a lot of dvds they're each two hours long so you'd only be one dvd per what two to three hours long it'd be terrible video on one dvd anyway well you could you could potentially package up like a zip file or something but that would be also massive they're really huge you guys can just download it off of YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Do whatever you like. Um, I suppose the Frostbite stream was amazing, but it gave me the idea, and a lot of people do this. Like, that's an Activision game. Yeah. Back in the day, Activision gave out patches for high scores. Like, you would send a, um, a picture of your s screen with your high score, and they would have thresholds that you would have to pass. And you would send in the picture, you'd th pass that threshold, you got 40,000 points or whatever, I think that's it for Frostbite. And then they would send you a patch for free, saying, oh, yeah. you're awesome, you did a great score. And, and you I can show it to like the girl you got a crush on at hey, school, and, well, and can... she'll go, what's that? And then she'll walk away, and you'll go, <laughs> yeah. oh man, oh, that was a bad move. But then you'll show part. it to your friends who also play, and they'll go like... Yeah, you're you're awesome. Mm -hmm. So it's just it's all about the audience that you got you got to know your audience with your patch. Yep. You can go from hero to <laughs> zero to hero or hero to zero. <laughs> it's right. Either way, depending on who you show it to. Yeah, but it's badass no matter what. <laughs> um, so I earned the frostbite patch when really? I was playing with him. It was pretty low. It's not too bad, but I I was watching him and so I knew all the patterns and stuff. Um, but I thought, oh, I'm, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to get all the patches for all the Activision games. Whoa. So these won't be regular <coughs> broadcasts. These will be whenever I feel like doing them, so they won't be scheduled or anything. No, but this is... But it's just a challenge to me, and I know a lot of other... Uh, 2,600 players have done that as well to earn the patches. I mean, Activision is not the old Activision. They're not going to send you a patch anymore, but you can buy them at... Um, you know, video game conferences. And yeah, stuff. and then if you so if I earn all the patches, that means I can buy any of them 
with a clear conscience. That's right, and then you can get a little frame potentially with all of them. Yeah. That would be a really sweet. How Put many them of on them a are there? Badass jean jacket. That's right. <laughs> you could just roll up the cigarettes in yeah. it. And... There's like forty. There's a lot. Wow. There's a lot, and some of them are hard. So I have. Has anybody out there done that challenge? And has anybody out there earned all of the Activision patches? Or some of them? Was it 1 out of 40? Currently? I've got 1 out of 40 so far. <laughs> well, that's better than 0 yeah. out of 40. And I'm going to do um, Spider Fighter next. I okay. Because that's kind of a shooter. So I think I can do okay with that one. And um, after that, what does everybody think that I should do next? What Activision game? Yeah. Should I do after Spider Fighter? So just let me know. So we have some mail here that we're gonna open. If you hold that for a second, will do. It's uh, Ooh. where's my letter opener? This feels like a good one, man. Well, uh, I think it's just a limited run game, so it has nothing to do with Atari, but it is a video game because now they're not holding them for me anymore. They used to have a service where you could order. You know, this one, and then that one, and then that one. They'd hold them until you say, okay, now ship them. Yeah. Because it would be cheaper for shipping. But you just ship one by one. There. Yeah, now they have to ship them one by one, so. Not as much fun. But you get them right away. So let's see what this is. It is a Nintendo Switch game. And it is Danmaku Unlimited. I feel like that's a shooter. That's it, my guess. It is a shooter. A bullet hell shooter. Which it, it didn't like doesn't look too bad of a bullet hell. Like when they get extreme, it's too it's too, too crazy. Much. They usually send a little nice little, uh, little card. shiny card. It looks very it. Gundam like. Yeah. You know what I mean? It feels like so that'll be fun when I get a switch. <laughs> <laughs> because with limited run, you either buy it or you miss it. That's it. It's over. They don't sell it anymore. Wow. So I have to buy these games before I even have a switch. I Stampede. To... Yeah, I. Th I just watched Stampede yesterday, actually, thinking, oh, maybe that one. Dude, I suppose this is on He's the same on it. wavelength, he man. Knows. He knows what's up. Um, yeah, maybe I'll go for Stampede after that. Okay, so I that'll be know, my third game. I don't know anything about this. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't even know who a, Activision take, is. Take this as a, as a grain of salt. <laughs> yeah. But in my opinion, do the ones that you think you can do best first. Get get right. some get some ones under your plate. Because if you pick one that's too hard and, and know that you have like 39 more, you'll yeah. feel like it's impossible. But if you yeah. can just get the ones that you know you can do as many of those it's like a sudoku man just try to just put the yeah. numbers in that you know that's and right then, and then, then go for the rest that's right i think stampede is very doable i that's was watching good, somebody i i yeah i was specifically watching it because they for the pattern how they did it and it was it was like oh yeah i could do that no problem um yeah <laughs> keystone capers that's a very good one i'm not bad at that enduro i haven't played much enduro so I'll have to take a look into that. Space, Space Shuttle. Oh, that one's a very involved game. They tried to make like a, a very accurate, like there's a lot of controls and you launch the Space Shuttle and it's, it's very cool. And I believe there's like an overlay for your Atari 2600. Dude. So you put it over top. I can't get that. So maybe I'll make a paper one and print it out or something. Yeah. It's good suggestions. Thank you. Thank you. But, uh, I think I will go for Stampede third, and then maybe Keystone Capers fourth. Cool. So I'll have to write that down right now, or I will forget it. Yeah, and definitely don't don't feel ashamed if you can't get it. Move on to the next one. It's like, remember when you had to yeah, do multiple... Yeah, and then come back later. Yeah, remember you had to do multiple choice tests in school? That was always a good oh, method, yeah. right? You go through and answer all the questions you know, and you almost get in a rhythm, and then by the end you go, oh, well, there's maybe like 10% that I don't know, and, and then you, by answering the other ones... Yeah, you, you can get a bit better at it too. I like that your mind is and your mind is actually processing those answers exactly in the background because you're, you're you're thinking about them every little once in a while. You go, oh yeah, oh yeah, I remember how to do that. I remember that formula, and then you can go back and go and yeah. Yeah, so can if get you it. can't beat one, you know, then just move on. Exactly. And I can always go back and do okay, part two. Yeah. And then, then get better at it. And, and you maybe can do some watch. research in between and yeah. think about it. And I don't It'll... think there's any shame in doing research and looking at how Definitely other people not. have done it at all because that's how it worked in the arcade. You would sit there and watch other people play it and you go, oh, cool, you got that, you got that. Six switch wood grain for space shuttle. Well, I have a six switch Ooh. wood grain right in front of me. As you can see in the webcam there, so I think you do need a six switch because of the overlay. 
it because you need all the controls because it would use all of the extra five controls. Obviously not the on and off switch. Yeah, but all the other ones <laughs> to, the to, to sort of set stuff up. <laughs> That's cool, man. The games were really cool back in the day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So much. It's like really involved. Yeah, and, and you're pulling... You have to use your imagination. It just feels... you got this real switch that makes that kunk sound. Oh, yeah. You're, it feels you, like you're in it. Rather than like, you know, zoning into a screen. <laughs> with a... Okay, so the first game, we're going to get to the games now, Ooh. is uh, Billy the Ball. And uh, this was made by Atari 2600 Land, which is named, his name's Chris Reed. Uh, this was first posted about on March 11th, and this build is March 17th. Cool. So, oh, so this is actually relatively new. new. Yeah. Um, it's an 8K game. Other games are uh, Whitewater Madness, which we're going to play next. 2600 Triss, Alien Greed 1 through 5, Alien Jail, Ants, Aquarium, Art Studio, Bananas Are Good, Bird Brain, Bomber, Castle of Doom, which we finished. Uh, Killer Bees plus a thousand other games. He's incredibly prolific. I remember Killer Bees, I believe. I think I played that one yes, for the... It was nominated did. for... Yes, that was really crazy, but really cool. Yeah, game I your, enjoyed that one. I think that's the same guy. Yeah, I think that's Killer Bees. Yeah, it's Killer Bees. Um, so, he says, uh, I'm working on a version of Jez Ball. To make a line vertically, press fire. To make it horizontally, press left. Okay, well, we won't get into that. But uh, let's play the video of the original Jez Ball game. And I believe, let me get some information on this. And we'll open it up as well. This game was made for Microsoft Windows in 1992. Whoa. And uh, it's really, really cool, actually, this game. Looks like a lot of fun. He's made an adaption of it. So it's not exactly the same. He's made it so you can, you know, make it work on an, an Atari 2600. So let me bring up uh, the video so you can see the original uh, Jazz Ball. Yeah, Chris Reed has probably made hundreds of games, like literally. Like wow. his list is, is so long. I, that's why I didn't include all of them because it'd take the whole show to read them out. Okay, so let's bring up uh, the YouTube uh, version of it. And bring it over to this screen. Hold on. No, 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 that's not it. That's a screensaver. That's just the... Okay, okay. Just ignore that. <laughs> screen capture. There we go. I remember that screensaver very well. Oh, yeah. That was a good one. Okay. And tubes. I always, I always put tubes. Yeah. So, okay. Well, that one, when you're like 10, it's just... Oh, interesting. So this is very much like quicks. Kicks? Quicks? Um, let me just turn down the volume on the game a little bit. Jazz Ball is a video game originally published for Microsoft Windows in 1992. The player must capture parts of a rectangle space by dividing it with horizontal or vertical lines. So you can see the area cleared at the bottom there. Oh, sorry. Didn't switch it over. Oh, no. Okay, good. We're back. Anyway, we're back. They're just looking at our pretty faces, oh, not no. the actual game. Um, but you didn't miss anything. You so, just missed the first level. I'm so, still not sure what the... So you draw the line. You're supposed to divide each ball into its own section? Yes. And when you complete a, when you divide off a section that the ball's not in, that means you've cleared it. And it gets added to your area cleared at the bottom. See, uh, he cleared all the right-hand side, 37%. So you didn't clear anything because there's still balls in them. So you're trying to section them off, I guess. There, you cleared some there, cleared some there, cleared some there. And there's a certain amount of time, basically? Uh, this one has time. The one we're going to play doesn't have time implemented yet. But yes, there you go. He cleared uh, so above a threshold, 75% okay, or something. Okay, cool, that makes sense. Yeah. And then and then the balls will obviously interfere with what's happening. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, so if it hits the ball, um, you lose a life. Oh yeah, While so it's when it. he's got one, he just sort of you get like one going. Yeah, I guess he's he figures that it's easier to separate them a little bit, so there's only one in a section. It's so probably not. A good one. He's probably not wrong, man. Yeah, so he's up to seventy-one percent. So we made it. Seventy-nine. Seems like seventy-five seems to be the threshold. I think so. So there you go. You get a good idea. Okay, of cool. What's going on? And then he's adapted this to to the the, the twenty-six hundred. Yeah. And, and it looks like a really decent um, version, a decent game this to adapt fun. to this it. Is, yeah, this is, 
elegant and simple. Oh, Thrust made a, a version of Z, Z T, or JTZ Ball. Oh, wow. Just a, a quick, quick demo, demo, yeah. Oh, we have to look into that. Um, so <laughs> Video. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Sorry. You can't see the game. It's like, we can see it, so it's all good. You guys don't need to see it. Why don't you just... We're just gonna watch a movie for a bit <laughs> and, and comment on it while you. Yeah, no. We won't. We won't. You have to guess the title based off of our <laughs> comments. So let's go for it. There oh, we go. Sweet. I've cleaned this up so it's not littered with Amazing. other things. So um, Billy the Billy ball. the ball. Let's. Because he originally named this uh, Jez Ball, but um, he changed the name so that it was a little bit different. Oh, wait, wait. Whoa. Sorry, guys. Did it again. There you go. Okay. Okay, so, um, to make a line vertically, press fire. To make a line horizontally, press fire and left, fire and right, and then fire. So I don't understand what happened there. Oh, dear. Yeah, you, your line ran into. Yeah, that one made sense. Yeah. So it's like... So you don't want to hit the ball. And I'll explain what that little guy is in a, in a minute. Because he added that to make it his own thing. Okay. Yeah. But mostly it's about the ball. And not hitting not hitting that little dot or the ball. There you go. Okay. You went over the threshold. Yay! It's like 75%. The again. cursor will change to indicate whether you make a line oh, horizontally no. or vertically. Uh, if you're in the middle of making a line vertically and the ball hits it, the game will reset. Normally you'd use a life. I can't get to do the same thing horizontally, but maybe somebody can help me with this. I think he's fixed that now. Um, so the latest version introduces that little um, square guy. Uh, introducing Bob the block. Make sure Bob doesn't touch the line that's being drawn. Otherwise, ah, you'll lose a life. That's well, in the final version, anyway. If you complete a level or die, it goes back to the title screen in this version. I've decided to name the game Billy the Ball. The ball is red like most playground balls are, so I changed the border to green. I think the introduction to Bob the block makes the game harder. Bob can go anywhere on the screen, so it's tough to judge where he'll go next since it's random. There you go, that's a good one. Yeah, but he's, it's its definitely a risk, always. Oh, uh, you <laughs> drew it right into him right yeah, away. Yeah, an idiot. Going for right down the middle, eh? That's risky. It's a bit, bit much. Yeah, yeah a bit much to chew, simple. right? I'm like, I'm like, how can we get this job done? See, I'm an idiot. No. I actually wanted to do the opposite, but I... Oh, okay. But my... Is your game over? Or do, it doesn't go back to the... Well, you can try for a bit. It starts at zero. It's... Yeah, yeah. we're still good. Yeah, just, just be... Stay away from just that. be conservative. That's yeah. all you gotta do. I love... Quicks? Kicks? X? <laughs> Q I X. I don't know how you say that. So having something on the um, VCS is oh just oh it just plays the same level over and over. Again. Okay, so there's no advancement yet. Yeah, it's just they're one just level. still figuring it out. I, I I'm understanding it. completely now. It's it, I like that addition of the little one because it's Ugh. it's not um. It's, it's not a hard game, no. but it's, it's but not it's, easy either. You can't always. But it. I think it would be a, pr a much easier game without that little white guy. For oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. 84% is not enough. 88 is. Bam. Okay, good oh, work. Am I still continuing or is that game over? Because if I press the button, Let's see what happens. my score resets. To yeah, zero. yeah, I think this is just, it's the, just the demo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Wink Dot jumped in. Hey, folks, sorry, can't stay. Just wanted to say hello. Hey, Wink Dot. Thanks hey, Wink for Dot. Bye, by, Wink Dot. <laughs> <laughs> so, so only one ball and a dot. Yeah, I think this is just the first level right now because it resets Each every time. time. Yeah. Even if you complete the level, it resets. So ah, this is fun, this is proof though. Of concept. I, definitely cool. Yes. And then with multiple he, balls. and uh, If he adds multiple balls, this is going to be a killer, killer, killer game. And then you push for high score, too. Yeah, exactly. There we go. See, I've completed it 86%. Then I press the button and it resets. It's back to the... Yeah. Back to Do the you want to give it one more go? Sure. Because there's not much... Kicks. Okay, it's pronounced kicks. That that makes sense. Ah! Right into it. You have to do it right after it bounces out of the way. Yeah, that's, that's the best the strategy. 
and I always go to the opposite side of where that the Bobby the Block, Billy the Block <laughs> is. And it's kind of cool that he goes outside the bounds. He's like, he's his own man. He is. He's a renegade. Yeah. Billy. Billy the Block. Bob the Block and Billy the Ball. <laughs> That's what it is. So, oh, God. Uh, and, like and in kicks, up. the percentage, I think, goes up, too, uh, that you have to get. And if you wait, and there's no timer yet in this one, so I'm guessing he's going to introduce a timer as well that goes down, counts yeah, down, because he, so. he has some room at the bottom there that he could put a timer. So I would definitely introduce a timer. Totally. So that you have another, the ticking clock, which is always good in games, so you can't just lounge around and go, Hmm, where should like, I go? Oh, oh. Especially in this game, too. And I would also um, have the, uh, what's his name, Bob the Block, so that you can't touch him either. Like, your oh, physical yeah. guy can't touch him. Like, you have to avoid him. Like, you have to, like, run away from him, too. Um, but, but not the ball. The ball's fine to touch you, but that guy... Ah, yeah. So that introduces another level of like, oh, I get but get out of the way of that guy. The other thing about it too is like, I always think it's nice in games when there's like a slow ramp up. Like the first one could yes. just have the ball, yes, and then definitely. you have two balls, and then you could add like one ball yes. with this, and you yeah, just slowly yeah. build it so that you get like piece by piece by piece. So it's easy on the first level. Yeah, no problem. It's good trainer level, um, but doesn't take too long because it is easy. Yeah. Well, you could almost do like a whole round of just the balls, yes. like like almost five levels, and then the small ball is added, and you're back to square one, and yes. then you and then but it, with faster time, exactly. Yeah. So it slowly builds because you want yeah. you want people to be addicted to your game. Oh, you yeah. want them to keep playing, and then you have to get higher percentages as well. Yep, have started with like sixty percent or something. Yeah. So there's a lot of room for that that build in this game. Good, good stuff. <laughs> yeah. So there's not much. It's just a demo. This is kind cool of, kind though. Of a demo. And it, tweaking with it, yeah. playing a little bit with like how it slowly ramps yeah. up. And but then... it's got the basics, and it's all working. And so I... that's the important part. And the cool thing about the other one is, it's like it, it seems like you start with a perfect score, and it just slowly drops. Right? It's like you have like two thousand points, and it's like slowly. <laughs> so if you take too long, yes. it's like you get like f oh right. Yeah, so it's you like get less points as, as time... you take longer. I think that's how they had it. So it's like you start with like two thousand. And then if you do it really quickly, you'll get like oh, seventeen hundred. Oh, you mean a bonus at the end? Yeah. Oh okay. no, I mean like um like your timer is like the points that you'll make. So yes. it's like, and then it's just yeah. added on, which is cool. Because in the original kicks, if you take too long, a little. Oh no, it's, it's not as you take too long at because in kicks you draw the area you want to fill in rather than a line. And if you take too long drawing that line, a little guy follows your line and comes to destroy you. So that's kind of how the the block um, fills in that role of kicks. So this is this is great. I think it's going to be a super fun, you know, one of those quick addictive games Hell that's not yeah. too involved. Arcadey, an arcadey type game. I'm already addicted, James. <laughs> I, can, I already like this game. Yep. Hey. Ah, uh, 90 nice. 90. <laughs> so I guess there's a game right now where you can get the highest percentage on one game. Yeah. We, you, but that's all you can do. That's it, all so. that happens. So let's move on to the next one. Which is White Water Yeah, which Madness. I haven't tried. Okay, I got it holding down. Awesome. <clears throat> White Water Madness. First one. Also by, yeah. Yeah, I only put it on the, uh, only put one version on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so this, um, this is, we've played, uh, sparks appear to get you. Yeah, that's what they are, sparks, the little sparks in, in kicks. Yeah. Yeah, so the, the, the square ball, the square comes after you on this one. Um, so this is Whitewater Madness. This is an update. We played this before. It's by Chris Reed again, aka Atari 2600 Land on the Atari Age forums. Cool. This is first posted uh, July 15th, 2018. So it's been in the works for almost a year. 
And this build is from yesterday. So it's Whoa. brand new. I wanted to do a, a really brand new version was of this. Was it released just to you or was this released no, to the whole community? Not an exclusive. This was the whole community. Oh, so, you, yeah. so if you, anyone wants to play this, they can download it. Yep. They can they can download all the games we're playing today. There's no exclusives today. Okay, good. So which is which is nice that people can get them. Um, it's an 8K game and it has relentless music that never stops, so I'm gonna turn it down quite a bit. Uh, that's Dude. probably my only big complaint with this game. It's pretty. It gets in your ear pretty fast. I can. I'm, I. I hear. I hear. It's <laughs> it already. Real, it there. does change, but it just keeps going. Um. So I'm not going to list off the games he's done because we already said that. So he. What is this? July. So where he got the idea? Actually, let's not do the game yet. Ooh. Okay. Because I have a video to play, you guys. <clears throat> where he got the, um... Hey, Tiki Dan. Oh, welcome, Tiki Dan. Where he got the idea from for this game. And it is quite quite different, um, the original game that he got inspired from. Because he saw this listed as a future Atari 2600 game, but it never came out for the 2600. So he thought, oh, I'll make it instead. Because there's been there was a lot of those games, you know, at the end of life of any console, they're like, oh, we have all these things planned. It's like, it's no, just, yeah. we'll not do it or put it on the next generation of console or whatever. <clears throat> so let me play the video. This was originally released for the Atari ST computer in 1989. Um, and surprisingly, the 2600 was discontinued in 91. Or the last game put out was in really? 1991. Went from 1977 to 1991. That's bizarre. That, it's one of the longest lasting consoles, active consoles ever made, because it just kept going. I don't think there's anything like that. That's unheard of. <laughs> I think the Sega... I mean, NES? Genesis maybe? in Brazil lasted longer, possibly, or quite long. Those crazy Brazilians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let me show you the original uh, version of what this... Whitewater Madness and where he got inspired from. Um, so let's switch over to that. Oh, why is that in the background playing? Wasting my bandwidth. It's good the audio wasn't on. You should hear repeats of us. Okay, so here is Whitewater Madness for the Atari ST. Ooh, that's pretty good. Turn that down a bit. And let's jump into the game. There we go. Wow, it's very involved. Yeah, so it's a guy. I was very antique when they stopped making games for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thrust. You're not antique yet. No. You're still going. Still living strong, man. Perspective's crazy. These these birds so went from like the size of... Oh, a big dinosaur just drowned itself. He's <laughs> trying, to, it's trying to eat you, but uh, it totally missed and killed itself. You so think a T Rex could swim, but somehow you've transported yourself in a speedboat to the Jurassic era. <laughs> with yeah, volcanoes. and you can shoot lasers from your 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 boat. It appears <laughs> so or cannonballs. Some some form of ballistic missile is you're, firing. You're picking up stuff. I think he's just blasting into things too. Yeah. Oh, got an owl. Um, getting Life owls. pod integrity. Warp energy. I think that thing with a skull can't be good. No. So there you are. You're a speedboat on the water. The amount um, of detail that went into things on the side is insane. You got volcanoes and wow. Yeah. So, this looks like a like a like a. Uh, it's very arcadey. Yeah, or it looks look. like a next gen console. Like it doesn't seem like a like an Atari game. It no, seems it was like... a it was a computer, like an yeah. Atari computer game. So oh. computers were always more capable. They had um, more graphic capabilities, more lots more RAM, lots more space. Like they had floppy disks, so those are huge in comparison to um, cartridges. Always have been. Um, reminds me of Tubin, another great game. Yes, wow. that is very, very similar. You're on the water. You're drifting down. Drifting around. Um, so let's take a look at White what he has interpreted this. It's quite a different game. I think he just got inspiration from it. There's there's water, <laughs> and you're in the water, and you're not in a, a speedboat. You're in a you're in a paddle boat. 
So, oh yeah, you can't see it. That would help. That's okay. I'm gonna go blind. <laughs> There you Just go. Give me the blindfold. I'll jump in. I'll okay. Unmute the madness. The madness is the music. That's where the madness comes in. Okay. Let's let's. Should I? Just, yeah. Let's, go for it. Okay. Pretzels are good. Get those. There you go. Just in time. That, Everything else is bad. Okay. That's all you need to know. Pretzels good. Everything else bad. Okay. It's like it's like Everything. going to a baseball game. It's <laughs> That's like, right. We don't want to get drunk. Just we eat the pretzels. Just eat the pretzels and cheer for the right team. Mustard and pretzels. Of course, they make the pretzels super salty, so you want a drink. Yeah, that's how they get you every yeah. time, man. So his story behind this... So I have a list of Atari 2600 part numbers. Um, does, do I, does... Okay, I just collect the things. Just the cool. pretzels. This feels like tire tracks, but a little little slower pace to start. It might, well, I'm sure it'll going speed down up. a lazy river, you I'm, know. I, I bet you it's going to get really challenging soon. I, yeah. It's going to start to Quite possibly. <laughs> Definitely... <laughs> It doesn't get it doesn't get fast as far as I know. Okay. So okay, um, that? that is a beaver. Everything's brown. <laughs> All the enemies are brown for that's some reason. That's a bomb each, or a rock each, or that's something. That's a log. That's a log. There okay. are rocks. That as makes well. sense. It seems like the only way for me to get points is to collect. Uh... Uh, well, you get points as you move. Okay. Just but to... you get bigger points for the pretzels. Just relatively slow. Okay, so th that guy's speeding up. So this is getting a bit more intense. Yeah. No white water. No, no white water. No. No, it's just, just blue water. It's just blue water. That would be good if... Uh, whoa, whoa. Oh, you I just finished got, the level. Okay, okay. I was like, holy shit. You're on level shit. two now. So the uh, the stream gets a little bit narrower. Ah, Maybe a bit faster. The stream. Okay, I'm starting to feel this. This is ramping yeah. up. I was I, I, I was trying, resisting so hard not to be cocky. I was like, if I'm cocky right now, <laughs> oh, I'm going to no, eat I, my... That's what happens every time yep. that I get cocky playing a game. Oh, oh, this wow, is I easy. Lost, I haven't got lost this. a life yet. I'm a guy. genius. Yeah. I'm the greatest. You see, no. <laughs> the greatest it's, ever. This is not a, okay. Uh, the but games. That, but that being said, this is this is pretty chilled out at the moment. It will yeah. it will get harder. Though. So the story is, I have a, a list of Atari 2600 part numbers. The games near the end actually look interesting. Too bad they never made them. Jinx, Street Fight, Thunder Fox. Looking for an Atari 2600 project to do. I came across CX 26184. Whitewater Madness. Figured it might be a fun project for me to take on, so I spent about an hour making a title screen for it. This is what I came up with. The words Whitewater Madness with a guy rowing a raft across the screen. I've never been whitewater rafting, though. <laughs> the only time I could ever get close is to my stay at Sun River, but we never did. I did get to ride a paddle boat in Lincoln City once. Level That's three, probably friends. as close as I would get to doing it. Uh, have you ever been whitewater rafting? No, I'd, I'd be too scared. I've have seen you, too many flip overs of, of those boats. You've been canoeing or been anything canoeing. like that? Been uh, canoeing. I've been speed boating. I've been. Oh! No! Oh, fail. God. You lost the game. Might as well give up. Rip. Um, Rip. I've been. Tried to water ski. I think I did for a tiny, tiny bit, but then fell down. Um, I think I've been. Like towed behind a boat on a tube. Yeah. Um, swimming, obviously. Um, down water slides. Um, I don't know what other water things are there. That sounds about right. I think we covered it. I mean, Most I've never of been. It. I've never whitewater rafted myself. No, it looks I've frightening. I've canoed. There's, there's rocks, and you're going all over the place. Yeah. yeah. When I was canoed. in when I was in high school, um, my girlfriend at the time took me on like a a canoe trip yeah it was the end of our relationship oh no we spent three days in a canoe together it is and, very trying and, and like no uh, paddle forward i am paddling this forward. is what happened man. we couldn't cooperate we had different <laughs> ideas of how that boat should go and it was so obvious that like yeah, this, we were not so meant for each other how did how to test a relationship go on vacation or add to that go canoeing go canoeing with or someone. move or move furniture Oh yeah, that's, that's a, another that'll test. do it. Oh my god! And then we got I, or put together IKEA furniture. Yep. <laughs> I got sunburnt too, so it was just like oh, I was. Emu Dan's I was, gone. I was Bye, burnt Emu Dan. and annoyed. Oh my that's, god! That was my, yeah, that was the only not enough water to drink, and yep. you're like we overheated. Just, and there reaches a point where you're like, on the first day, you're like, we're canoeing, and by the third day, we're like, oh, <laughs> we're, we're canoeing. canoeing. Like, oh, we're just. I guess it's just water and <laughs> water and you. Yeah, you. <laughs> water, you, and sunburn. Oh man! And I was like, I was like, I gotta reevaluate my life. <laughs> and, uh, Let me hit the reset button. <laughs> I did. It oh was... man! 
Anyway, I'm sort of giving up on Up Monster since I can't get the jumping right. Oh, oh I keep missing monster. them. It's hard because actually you have to hit it with the, the boat. You, you didn't your die, head, did you? Your head doesn't count, no. Oh, yeah, it's it's a perspective. It's yeah. a perspective. So you like the actual, to, to get that, I feel like it's... Uh, you rinse, have to hit it with the boat, yeah. With rinse, the... It feels like it's not changing now. I mean, it's changing a oh, bit. Oh, it didn't change mine. It still says three. Did you just finish a level? Yeah. Oh. So see, I, see like that, I had to hit it with the boat. Yeah, yeah, your head. Which also applies for the logs and stuff. Yeah, okay, that's good. So it's just you... I've missed a couple pretzels because of it. <laughs> but now me, you know. Which makes me a bit salty. Uh, unless someone... Uh, da, 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 da. In case you want to see the guy paddle his kayak or canoe across the screen, I've attached the binary. I plan to add music to this title screen probably later today. It's almost 100 degrees outside, thank goodness for AC. So we oh, originally played live? this... Uh, he lives, because I'm now putting that in here. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Not in this one, apparently. That's okay. I don't know where he lives. Sorry. Somewhere that's 100 degrees. Somewhere where it gets hot. Southern U.S.? Must be, must be. Um, we originally played this on July 27th, so it's been a, almost a year since we played it. Has it progressed much? What's the... Um, he's added levels. Yeah, so okay, that's good. So once you make it to level four or five, I think you'll start seeing some change. Okay. Oh, it's still skipping on three. Well, okay. it said three the whole time, so this that's... This is the third time you've been on three. Has no, it, been... it said three, like, even at the beginning, oh, I believe. It? Um, So the first one to this one made the biggest difference. Oh, that's lives then. Yeah. Oh, okay, not level. So, like, I'm doing pretty well. <laughs> I'm pretty I'm pretty good. You're rocking it. You're killing it. All I need is just a relationship to end in the first set. So recently, on April 7th, he added levels 9 and 10. After that, it loops, and levels 1 through 5 go faster. Um, left difficulty uh, switch on B, start on level 1, which we did start on level 1. Uh, left difficulty switch A, start on level 8. And I think, yeah. Um, made a few changes here and there. Perhaps I should add more, a couple more zeros in front of the score. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe you're up to 2... Hundred, and I think you're on level. You're on level five. If I'm Dude, I'm on like level seven. No, I don't. No, know. I'm not kidding. I've been. I've reset quite a few times. Yeah? yeah, I'd say I'm about seven. I mean, I could be wrong. Chat will know too. I would <laughs> guess I'm around six or seven. Wow. Seven okay. would probably be about so right. Hasn't really changed. No. In a long time. Um. Maybe it doesn't change till. Oh, this see. has got to change now. I think something's wrong. It's a very chill game. It's, it's <laughs> I'm just chill. not gonna lie. It's like we may want to start well, see, at level it's, eight. It's and... speeding up a little bit. Like, do you see what I mean? Like, yeah, it's but not it much. Like, see, this is going diagonal, which is a bit better. Yeah. Um, but I have we'll to give it one more level. Like this. Yeah, this I have to actively doesn't... try pretty hard to not <laughs> to like die. look, like look, like. Yeah. <laughs> it is very easy game. Like, but maybe I'm a, like, like I'm not kidding. Like, look, you haven't this touched is, it in this a while. Is how long? Oh, don't touch it, don't touch it. Oh. oh, okay, so that was, I couldn't AFK Yeah. these things, I can't AFK, but everything else we can, so. Yeah. And then up a little You'll bit. You'll get that one, yeah, there you go. But, like, pretty little adjustment needed. <laughs> Very little. And then if you hang out, there's no reason not to hang out on the left side, right? Yeah. You, there's no kind of benefit to either way. So, like, I can see these things coming from, like, a mile away. Like, for that log to hit me. <laughs> You'd have to. Like, try really like, hard. Like, see, I can actively move. It is and, a very... And then pull out at the last second, like, it's... Maybe, maybe it's meant to be... Um, meditative. Yeah, an, an easy game. Because there's you can make games for kids that are fun. Definitely. So and... here's a here's a. Okay, no, one. we're switching. Yeah, so it seems to be about the same. Yeah. Um. Okay, so this should start on level eight okay. now. Oh, what is happening? So see... So this is the same. Now, no, but it seems I, to be moving a bit quicker. Because I played this on the emulator. And it was... And it was not this. When I switched to level 8, it, it was, actually went and did something totally different. Whoa, there I'm should be some top-down Stuff mazes. happening. Yeah. And, okay. So let me load it up in the emulator. Yeah, because you, this does seem um, very chill. Mm-hmm. Like, i got to try pretty hard to... To, to, not, to not succeed. Normally it's the opposite, man. 
Normally I find games are too hard. I find that's the instinct with most homebrew people actually is to is to make it really hard because they yes. end up practicing they end up doing it so much they're themselves good at it. Yeah. and that they that for like a new player but this is the opposite which is no problem so i just we're gonna switch over you just gotta sorry oh no problem <laughs> just gotta ramp this thing up so let's get over to the emulator where is it there it is oh yeah, yeah. it's always so huge there's like a oh. Okay, cool. Smaller. There we go. Why is that not the right? Maybe one more bigger? That's about right. There's a bit of mess at the bottom there. Uh, maybe I want it smaller. Yeah, it's at least. Oops. Emulators wow. just become part of the show, man, sometimes. <laughs> Super it's useful the only when way... things are a little wonky. Yeah, it's the only way we can, like, check certain things. There we go. So let's try this out. Cool. And what is it, level 8 you're going to jump in? Let's see. Yeah, you um, try it out, because I already did this. It also Whoa. plays really differently on the that emulator. That thing, like, followed you. Yeah. Did so, you see that? So I don't know what's going on. Also, there's way more zeros. Yeah. And then there's like a thing on the left, which is different. <laughs> see what I mean? And then when you moved, see that thing was like actively hunting <laughs> Going you. after you. That's cool. Did like, I look. load the wrong one? Let me just That's switch pos back. That seems more possible because we were definitely looking at a different build in like always. Yeah. So let's go back to the Yeah, different version, different version. This Thrust and Impaler are saying Quite that. Quite possibly. That's interesting. Go. Hold the button down. Got it. Let me see what version that it says that I loaded. Oh shit! Oh, fail. Sorry. Okay. Don't wait till it comes on the screen. Cool. So what does it say? WWM10. And what do I have here? Let's find out. Behind the scenes. Yeah. Twenty-eight. Yeah. Oh. There you go. That could be the problem. Sorry, we're playing an ancient version of the game. Let me load up the new version. The other version it was happens. 28, yeah. <laughs> it happens, it happens. Good thing is that it's super fast. And we checked it. And we checked it and we found out the problem. Because we do want to show the proper versions of games. You know what I say? We featured the older version. That's right. We're going to compare and contrast. Trash. This is how it goes. This <laughs> it was, was totally on purpose. Because we wanted to see, show you how much it's progressed over, over the time, right? Yeah, so, you know, you understand what we're doing here now. You're well prepared, as always. Hey, Apparently. touch it. Hush it. <laughs> Don't need any of that sass. Yeah, man. <laughs> what the hell? Where'd it go? It's there for like a second and then disappeared. Come on. Come on. Oh, what is happening with this? Oh, sorry. Let's go back to full screen. There you go. Yeah, Let's... you can see us. Rather than a nice doing. big blue screen. What That's... is happening? It's just not happening. I'm stoked about that 12-hour thing. That'll be very interesting. It's funny you said Darcy might come. Well, I'm going to try and make it so Dar like everybody can be here. That yeah. would be really good. And Tanya will probably just swing oh. in and out, right? Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. What is what is happening? It would be a miracle if we could get Tanya to play 12 hours of games. <laughs> oh, no. That's not going to happen. <laughs> She'll be in and out. Let's we got to hold one of the cats hostage. See, <laughs> see if that does it. Yeah, where are the cats again? Not They haven't been showing up. Yeah, they, it's, they were hanging out with us this morning. Yeah, and then they kind of took off. And I think I went with cats sometimes. I feel like they're just here for the food, you know? 
Sometimes it really feels. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> I feel like a sugar daddy or something. They're like, you know, oh, you you, yeah. you give them. They're like, they're 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 in love with you, and then you give them some food, and it's like, they're oh, gone. where'd they go? Damn. You gotta trust that they'll come back. You know. Okay, hold it down. Got it. Hooray. Okay, different game. Proper version. There we go. Okay, we're okay. Good. We're back. We're back. We're back White, in business. Whitewater Madness, 28. Okay, we're in. Yay. Same music. There we go. Oh, now we have the hearts. That was level eight. Okay, di Okay. different world now. It is moving faster. Yeah. It? yeah and it's yeah. just like, so you see these, th that guy? <laughs> They're oh, homing oh. And in there's on like you. two? Okay, this is a new game. Yeah. This is way better, friends. Way, way better. I can't AFK this. <laughs> no, no. Although, well, there's been a lot that's been on the top. You're fine right now. Yeah, it's just when, when the beavers homing. come. Yeah, the beavers. You're in trouble. It's very Canadian. It is. It's a very Canadian game now. Well, there's beavers all over North America, I think. It's true. But we claim the beaver, so. Yeah, it's like our <laughs> of course, mascot on everything. It's a bit scary, actually. You have to do a little bit of a maneuver. You a duke bit of your dodging. way out, right? And if this got faster and narrower, it's going to be intense. Yeah. So now there is a, a six-digit score, which obviously he, he was joking when he said add more digits. Yeah, because it's... Na and now you've got the lives, and he said that he added uh, cloud. Oh, oh see, boy. that was hard. you got to let them kind of come at you. and then Now just... we have a challenge, plus music challenge. <laughs> yeah, last one didn't have as much music. Endure the music. Oh shit! He's Beaver Man. There we go. Just turned up the music for a little bit. Okay, yeah, I just got nailed by this ah. Beaver twice. I'll show you an easy way to get rid of the Beaver. What do you do? You just, well, you just hang out in the top, unless you have to move, and then you just go back to the top, and you go da 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 bye. Oh, that's a smart da, move. Da, 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 bye. Sorry. James, you. I, I had to play it. You're so. always you're you're always a lot smarter than me when it comes to these games. I'm so brute force. I'm just like even you're like dodging and I'm like trying to like. I make but he it homes in on you. I make it so complicated. My favorite is in like the shooters. I'm always like trying to like hit hit the bullets at the precise moment. <laughs> James gets it. He just holds it. I'm like, damn. Okay, damn. yeah, that's how you play a game. <laughs> animate the beaver otter. Yeah, that would be good because the rocks you can't animate. The log you can't. But have like some swimming or some movement. Well, so basically, your go. technique is just hang out in the top left corner until you got to move and then move. Yeah, because I found going up to avoid the beaver, there's higher chance of it hitting you. Sounds just about right. Because I buy of that. the height of the beaver and the height of your boat and the relative All the crap. Yeah. levels of everything. says this is much better yeah it's a better game the beaver is intense <laughs> he is he goes straight for you which is also bad he almost looks like a slug to me yeah he's always looked like I a see, slug I to see me the because he's got the antennas yeah he's... and the long body give him a little uh, shell and he's uh... give him a tail that's yeah. what he needs he is needs the beaver tail yeah like you can move while it goes off the screen so it's wow. got the and different the, colors. And the, that helps just feel like there's a progression, too. Yeah. And the moving, I would say... That's the, slightly different music, too. Right? I would say the cloud should move the other way. Oh, yeah, because it's opposite. Parallaxing yeah, started, is what yeah, they call that. Exactly. But I, but I mean, with the, with the cloud going this way, that means there's, like, strong wind going to the right. Good point. If it was the... If the cloud was going the other way, that means you're moving in relative to the cloud. Ah, yes. So it gives you a sense of moving to the right, which is what you're doing. Because those rocks aren't moving, so therefore you're moving downstream to the right. So I think it would be a bit more realistic with the cloud moving the opposite way. Now the beavers are not a challenge. <laughs> they, it does need to change the beavers the way they attack you, because once you figure yeah, that out, it's, it's, no problem. it's impossible to die. That last song was like a classic, um, like, uh, you know, high school band. Uh, kind of song. That was close. These are all public domain songs. Yeah. <laughs> it's safe. Oh, 
something to get. get some pretzels up in there. Yeah, this would be a, if, a high score in this game would just be a real marathon. You'd want to be listening <laughs> to a podcast or something. You That's know? right. Groove into something else. Uh, they, I don't think you would. You'd be fully immersed in in it to pull off a score of like you know, hundred thousand or something. Varying length would double or triple <laughs> pixel width. And I think he could add more clouds in as well. Yeah, like for some sure. Some layers of clouds, some thin ones and a thick cloud. Have them go at different speeds along the top. Oh! See, this is what I was talking about. This is now, this is a different but game unfortunately, now. this is really easy. Because you just stay to the middle. Because that's your best bet, right? You stay at the top, and you stay in the middle. Yeah, and then, and then, and then it doesn't matter left or right. No. Nope. And then as soon as you get it, you just pop Whoa. into the middle. Yeah. You just got to make sure you're not too clever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you just stay in the middle. Because either either it's entirely possible to get over, or you just don't have enough time to get over. And then it makes it impossible, and you have to die. So what he could do is have more than one opening on the screen at a time, so that you have to kind of start dodging and moving. Well, yeah, it could move this faster. Is but this is... But I'm guessing maybe when it gets up to the higher levels it's easier, but I think this is a little too easy. Yeah. Once you figure that beaver trick, man, it's a different, it's yeah. it's a different game for sure. It's just, Possibly on the higher levels as well, the beaver gets hard. I must. I mean, it's just got to be... There's probably like an impossible quotient point in this one, right? Where you just hit a place where it's just there's no it's way I can do it. But maybe not. I don't know. So don't far, know. it's a very, very relaxed game. It's it's it is. A meditative. As I said, this is like a listen to your podcast and play this. Which is not a bad thing. No. Relaxing games are, are good. Because like, like, there's a whole genre Like of that, that night, type. that with the guy who made the what? The night guy? and uh... That is not relaxing. No, <laughs> that's the that, that, his his that's games insane. his games are like they require Manic. every fiber of your being working on this. Yeah, they they have. Oh, this is faster now. With now this actually presents a bit of a challenge. But the bizarre thing about it is that you is don't actually need to move, right? Uh, no, you just need to move when the arrows when it's and dodge the ah. beaver. And the arrows. Oh, I see. So the arrows do make your position a little bit more challenging. Uh, there is a bug that I encountered uh, that you just heard. Oh, I died. Um, that noise. The music. So now it's none of this harmonizing. There no, there's a there's a sound that doesn't. It had just changed, but it still didn't. It didn't turn off. That's amazing. The sound turned on, but not off. I liked when it happened. The ring. It's just like so intense. Yeah, it's best to stay in the middle with the arrows, so it gives you the most amount of time because they come from the top and the bottom. Definitely. But and when the beaver comes, you have to go to the top. So there's a little bit of strategy now. This is feeling more like whitewater rafting now. This yes. is now we're now in the we're white water, which is why it's white. I feel. Oh yeah, there's a bug. Oh, that's a I, walrus, by the way. Okay, I was like, that's a <laughs> Dracula a, just swam in the lake it's with a us. Sea monster. Oh, dude, they say walruses will mess you up. They say that They're the huge. most, like, I, I think it might be, I think it's walruses actually kill, like, so many people a year. Oh, it's walruses? hippopotamus it's is what I'm thinking of. Yeah. They're huge. They... Oh. Yeah, because we, ima we imagine, like, tigers <laughs> being the ones, but it's yeah, like. Yeah, no, it's, it's they'll still... leave you alone. They don't care. Yeah. Hippopotamuses are like. They'll crush yeah. you. Why is everything brown? <laughs> yeah. That's my question, Thrust. That's There's no reason for it, everything to be brown either. I mean, they are brown. Like, these things are... All, he picked things that are brown to put in the game. Yes, yeah, good point. Like, logs are brown. Beavers rocks are don't brown. Need to walruses be brown. are brown. He could change the rocks to gray. So, if arrows come out from the sides on this part, then that would be something. But I don't think this has changed much. I like the vertical and horizontal mix-up. That's that is very nice. cool. That's, and it seems to be at a nice range, too. Yeah. Like, I'm sure that, I'm sure he's going to add some shit on the screen like yeah. as this. Because at the moment, this is pretty chill. Yeah. But, like, arrows take... firing from the left and right. or you know, like be, That would help this level a lot. Something, you know, like some logs and stuff. Actually, the logs would be rough because if a log <laughs> happens to be exactly where your opening is, yeah. I think the arrows would be smart. You have to plan that out. Beaver would be almost impossible. If there's a beaver <laughs> dodging around a beaver. Wow, you've got to go through that hole. Oh, oh I'm not staying at the top. That's, that's the okay. Problem. 
I'd rather have purple logs <laughs> instead of brown. <laughs> For realism. Uh, yeah. I mean, the rocks could be gray. Um, I don't know what you can do about the beaver. They are brown. Uh, walruses are not brown. I don't know why there are walruses, actually. It's wild. Walruses on the river? It's kind of weird. There's no river walruses, are there? <laughs> I don't believe so. I don't know what river this is, Back though. Back to the slugs. <clears throat> I like the guy, and I like his animation. That's really good. Yeah, and the I like paddle. the like, and the and the kind of rowing like machine, and like yep. I like that it's stalking you too. <coughs> it's wide river, easy. I yeah, think I'm back it's... to the beginning now. I think I'm on the tenth level because this looks like the. Yeah, the... I, I I feel the same. I mean, we'll, we'll see Ooh. what happens. I, yeah, and then there's a the cloud. Yeah, they just like. Next game. <laughs> yeah. yeah well, there aren't any many dinosaurs in, in River either. It's okay, true. I, I, I miss the dinosaurs. Yeah. That's a cool game. So, there you go. That's Whiterwater Madness. Uh, it's in progress, so... There you go. Press the middle. Got it. So, there's some suggestions that we made. Cool. What's one's the... <laughs> so, the next game that we're going to play is Catron. Ooh, any relationship to the movie Tron? Yes, there is. Ooh. There is a relation to the movie. So don't press anything yet. Um, so this is Catron by uh, Adriano Sabo, who is in the chat, I believe, still. Um, the other sound channel should have white water noise. Oh, that's a good suggestion. <sighs> every time yes. you moved, every time you went moved it would go dude i suppose is thinking like a sound designer because that's imagine who he is. that yeah <laughs> no that's a great suggestion pa paddle sounds definitely that's great would, would help the immersion a lot yeah. so hopefully he watches this later um yeah this is a pretty new actually this isn't new this first was posted um september 25th 2018 um this build is pretty new march 5th 2019 uh it sizes 2k and this is his only game. Wow. And this is uh, also known as Tron Light Cycles. Uh, that's, I read that somewhere. Um, and he is from uh, Brazil. Wow. So welcome from hey, Brazil. Man. Um, this originally posted September 25th. He said, I'm just sharing my progress in the game I've been working on for a few months. The inspiration motivated com uh, motivation came from the movie Tron with the Light Cycles racing game. Later on, I played one called Katron for Linux. Does anyone know it? I found it would be a good starting point to do it in assembly. I've always wanted to have a change to learn this programming language, so now I had a good reason. Why not? Don't know why I got surprised, but I already found that they had developed a similar game called Surround. Yeah. Uh, and that was done right after the Atari 2600 was released. That was awesome. Yeah, many, many systems made this game. Because it's a kind of a, a simple-ish game to make. You're just moving around, leaving a trail. You bump into the other guy's trail, you die. That guy bumps into yours, you die. You bump into the edge of the yeah. screen, you die. It's like a good it's exercise. Weirdly, game to play. I don't think I've played it yet. I think I've played it. Do you know what I mean? Like I feel like yeah. I played an played iPhone the, game oh, or yeah. something. And also, there's Snake. Yeah, which I is played. Kind, so which is kind of an offshoot, but Snake is a collect a collectathon game, and you get longer as you collect the items. So it's a variation of this, or one is a variation of the other. I don't know which came first. Um, anyway, I think it's a good starting point, uh, and maybe I could do it a little differently. Um, and this one, he says, after a long time, I finally got something to share. I couldn't find a way to upload the ROM yet. Sorry, I'm a newbie, but you can find it here. Um, and he put it in um, uh, GitHub. That's where I downloaded it from. The game is supposed to be played in two, so I'm gonna be playing you. Ooh, okay. Since there's no AI yet tips the player that reaches nine first wins avoid collisions with the walls and the borders of the grid press the button between turns and at the end that's it for now i'll keep working on it hope you enjoyed it and uh where was that released this was released in the atari age forums so you can download it there um but it the binary he actually links to github where you can download this binary um and he says in the chat no music yet working on that Okay, so I don't. I think I'm the blue because I'm let's, two let, player. I'll hit play and let's yeah. find out. Let's see. Okay, three, two. Just a trial one, just one. to figure out our bit. Yep. I'm Yours blue. is working. Okay, good. 
don't know how much of this game you've played, but I know all the tactics. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you're, I haven't played anything like this. Am I allowed to do this? Yes. Yes, you are. I feel like I'm going to die, though. Maybe. James knows its skills. Oh, God. See? Rip. If there ever was one, Erlen. What are you yeah, doing? You have less places to go than uh, I do now. Friends. <laughs> I built my own tomb. Yeah. So we got Katron. It's probably from KDE release of Linux or something like that. And it's Tron. Is that is that where it came from? I mean, he's first he saw it on Linux. So it's K, K something. It's a lot of things that start with K. Oh, oh you gotta anticipate that i don't know god i don't know how to <laughs> how to even do anything this is rough did you go to the right i know i went to the left i oh, probably just didn't too do late it. i just probably didn't do oh because i'm already one to the right yeah so I, it... just, I wasn't just wasn't fast enough yeah. damn okay how am i gonna beat you i don't understand this game <laughs> pretty much trying to cut off the other person well it's like some fucked basically well you can go up and around uh, up and back around we'll see we'll see he's coming at me though <laughs> oh a little glitch up there oh god Man. see oh <laughs> rip right what do you do you loop back around and fill in that little square there well no but like i don't think i could have i think that was it right Oh, I hit it. I tried to hit it. Okay, this is this is getting embarrassing, friends. I don't know how I'm going to beat James. Yeah, it doesn't actually indicate the winner. It flashes everything, and the winner is only indicated by... Oh, I was just too yeah, slow. Like, everything flashes. So, yeah, that would be good to flash who the winner is, maybe by the score yeah. or their icon. At this point, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> Well, yeah, if, if you have zero. Oh, what do I... Like, what do you do? You just keep on surviving. Oh, I'm in the same position you fuck. are. I'm just, yeah, I couldn't and tell and there and who I'm died. Too slow. Definitely me. Yeah. So that's definitely an addition you want to do. <laughs> okay. That's pretty it's, much like the perfect game. Is, is like ah! That's good. Player two wins on the screen. Like, the, the really nice part that sets this game aside from other, like, surround, these lines. They look really, 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 really cool. Ah! Oh, look, you gotta move, man. You gotta move with intention. Okay, let me, let me, let me speed up this. Let me try and... Damn it. Okay. Now, another suggestion that you could do is have limited speed ups um, with the button. So you, because in Tron, I believe there's like speed ups and slow downs. Um, you could pick which speed you go. Oh, I actually died there. <laughs> hey! <to> <laughs> you just got to wait for James to make a mistake one in ten games. So you could have like maybe two speed ups in a game where you press the button and it goes a little bit faster, but only momentarily. Fuck. Yep. Ah. Oh. You're dead unless I make the wrong move. Ah, oh, which isn't gonna happen. Yeah, the visuals are beautiful. Those lines just add that much more to the game. It it gives it a Tron feeling, like a very eighties. Ooh. Uh oh. Mm. Mistakes have been made. Ah, <laughs> uh, did know. I die? No. I died. I don't know what to. survive can you outlast me i don't think so you probably can i technically but i have to like <laughs> i have to actually do it man which i don't know if i have the skills for oh, <gasps> I, oh. what how did you die because <laughs> i'm not left. very good at this thing I, like oh, my controller no. moves are no good no there's no sound yet there's no you're not missing the sound there is actually no sound yet this is like his first public release of the game and i thought just the visuals were enough that it was cool enough to include the game. 
So, but yeah, there's going to be like deet, 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 or, or, eh, or something like that. Motorcycles. It's trying to em maybe emulate the Tron, Tron sound, Tron light cycle sound. Ooh, who has more space I left? think you do. I think this is how expert players at the game would always end up. It's just like... Like, this is... They're just... Oh, see, like, I'm not... It, I'm it. not actually... Oh. oh. Whew, two out of five, man. See, I'm kind of cutting myself off. See, Either I stay in there or go outside of it. Oh! Smart. Cut you off. Erlen wins. No, some, some of the times. Only twice, man. Here we go. Okay. Okay. What choice are you going to make? Ah! <laughs> Hit the wall. I That's can't. <laughs> sometimes it, the problem is, is like I have to be very, very, very conscious of it. Like it's not a fast. Like every every time I move in this game, I have to like it's a whole Let's ordeal. Let's do something fun. Oh no. <gasps> Who died? I did. Oh. Whew. <laughs> oh, oh, see I have if I had better skills with this cuz it's timing. It's big it's timing. So and it's sometimes I find with this one it's like I have to if I if I, every time I move, it's got to be a super conscious. Choice. How long did it take to develop the game in total? You said that this is the f yeah this is his first game. Hey MBM two one two two new name. Sorry I started it. That's okay. Um, also, another thing you could add to it is speeding up. Oh no! I you could speed up the game as it progresses, so that if you're lasting too long, if both people are yeah. playing too long, it makes it harder because obviously they're skilled enough. So it goes. Do, 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 Can we do, 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 do an do, do, experiment? Can we trade okay. controllers just to see? If, mm. I don't. I, I don't think it will make any difference. But I'm just curious. I want to. A bad carpenter blames his tools. I. This is. <laughs> this is why I think it's. Okay, I'm yellow. Yeah, we didn't announce, but I'm on the left now, and Erlen's on the right, or Erlen's blue and I'm yellow. It's a little bit different. It's certainly not. I mean, that's a perfect joystick for this game. The one you're using now, it's perfect joystick because it's so clicky yeah. and intentional. Like this is the direction I'm going. Oh, oh. no, it's it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I needed to know. I needed. I just didn't want to be able to. I didn't want to walk home going, oh, being like it his joystick. The, I, I wanted the only person to blame to be me. <laughs> I just needed it. I needed it to be like, is this? I have an approach. I have a technique. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got it. As long as you don't mess up. <laughs> what the hell? I'm just not I, very good. You, you, you totally I had got it. that. Okay. Well, I, at least my tactics are getting better. Yes, your understanding. Um, like, my ability to like do it is not necessarily as high. So you have an out there. So you have a whole array of room. Are you gonna come up here, or are you gonna stay down there? Well, what I'm gonna do is cut you off. So uh oh, uh oh, choice. uh oh. Now, See, I. <laughs> wow. So, uh, well, not enough time as I would like, but I would, it took like six months to get to this point. So, somebody who's never made a game before, it takes a long time to to figure out the the architecture and how things work. Uh, Carl G had a ton of fun figuring out how to do a 2K version of Space Game. Good exercise for conscious coding choices. That's actually a really smart idea. It's to take your game and make a smaller, compact version of it. And that's what Carl, Carl G did. <clears throat> what? This is me. It was you? Oh, I'm <laughs> yellow. I was... <clears throat> I'll add some cars to the show. Plus poli... What? Cars to the show. Plus politics... He's getting bored. <laughs> I think, I don't know Cars what that is. Politics? It might be something interesting. Maybe. Are you spamming, Thomas? 
We'll see. We'll see. Unrelated things. Cats. Oh, cats are fine. Dude. Cats and politics? Look at this. I think it's uh, the perfect. I think you're going to win. No, I don't think so. No? Because this, Come my on. skills are not that high. I struggle to hit it. <laughs> this is, it's a matter of, of time before I. There is a, a slight issue with this joystick, though. It's certainly easier it's on this. I wouldn't say that. It's mushy. I just pressed down and it didn't go. This, this joystick gets mushy after a while. I think Wait. it's the, uh, the spring in it. I've opened it up many times. Yeah. Look at this. See, like you got a bit of room. It's definitely better on this. Like, I, I, but I ha it's such a conscious thing. Ugh. You can't zone out. Yeah. With, with this guy. But see, like you've had the advantage. Like, like the thing is, is like, I I have the advantage, and I still can't beat you <laughs> with the controller. <laughs> so like, it's not a good look on this end. No, it's not. <laughs> Ah, oh, that was getting into war. That was, it was. That, that was, was, that was, that was good. almost turning into a real game for a second. Yeah, you gotta break that pattern, I think, of that that mirror mirror effect. Gets a little gets a little tedious. Yeah. Ah, oh, see, oh. that was where I was like, you heard, heard me. Noise. I'm like, I heard noises. I was trying to click. And it wasn't enough. Yeah, I, that's I where I mean you gotta be really conscious. Like you gotta just like pound it up. Ah. Oh. Yep, cats are always good. Oh! Getting aggressive. Getting tricky. Get, getting very... Playing for... On the offense. Playing for tricks, man. Yep. What's happening? Oh, yeah. Well, uh -oh. deal with that. I'm fucked. Yeah. So what happened? One way or the other. Death to the invalid. <laughs> but you know what? I'm going to die with pride if I can. No, there's no pride. No. Oh, no. One more. Okay, okay. One more. Well, who knows? Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, well, one more. But given for the... Me. Um, uh, yeah, uh, I think yeah. you, you, you made... I, you I made, made a wrong decision there. Ooh, you could kill me. And you did. And up. And that's it. Whew. Thanks for giving me the advantage with the <laughs> controller. No problem. It's much appreciated. Uh oh. Mistakes have been made, James. On my part. Uh oh. Ah! Oh, there we gonna, go. I was going to do a maneuver. Okay. That's Back a fun game. Damn. Yeah. So if you had some. Uh, I think. Having that speed up, like having a speed up will Definitely. change the dynamics of this. So somebody can choose to use it at the beginning or the end or try and cut off the other person, but have like two, two speed ups per game or something um, per person. And because, I, you know, that, that kind of game is good, but I think you want to elevate it. You want definitely. to get it to the next level. I've never played any, like I've never, definitely never played like a two-player version of this before. Uh, it's so it's very fun. I can see, and God, the controls are so specific. But the visuals are great. Like, I mean, the game itself is, this type of game it usually is very simplistic. Like you can't make it much better than this. No. Um, but adding those nice grid lines um, really adds a nice nice element to it. To it. You like my... Uh, mock-up cartridge with the oh K-tron so with, good with the glowing katron there you did that that was just your yeah yeah I, based I, off of theirs that looks yeah if they don't have a um if they don't have a cartridge like here there you can kind of see it better in the full thing right well so good i didn't i didn't even i just assumed that it was just part of the packaging i don't even think <laughs> about these things amazing yeah because when they don't have a um any graphics for their game i always make one up I mean, it's not going to be the final one. Yeah. But you never know. Somebody might, one day, might like it. Okay. On to the fourth game. Oh, you're very welcome. Hey, man. Definitely. It's in yeah. cool shape. It's that's, such a classic that you, you know. That's what um, we do here. We we play your mm -hmm. games, give suggestions, say awesome job. And because we want every game to succeed. We want every game to be the best game it can be. 
So if we're like, oh, we found a bug, usually it's not bugs we find too often. No, it's usually they're pretty solid. Definitely. One thing I was going to say is that it's really important you get that AI going for one player. Yeah, because a lot of people don't have... Yeah, I've the seen... only person I ever play games with is James because <laughs> of this show. Like, like, if I ever play games, it's always single player. It's always on my own. Yeah. Um, and I think it's just also, I'd say on average, I bet the gaming community tends single. to be more that way. Yeah, single players. Um, I see a lot of that. With two-player games, they, they always want a, a single player. But more two-player games are always appreciated because there's Hell definitely yeah. a lack of it. And especially really clever, fun two-player games because it's great for the show because we have two players on here. And it's great for ver just to have a variety, to have a variety. Yeah, and it's just nice to have, um, and the, the two can like relate and support each other, having the AI, and you can learn stuff from it. That's Although, true. I am not a programmer, I couldn't imagine programming <laughs> AI uh, for a game like this. I, it's quite yeah. the undertaking, my friends. Because your AI has to know, oh, where's the best place to go that I have the maximum ability to end up with and you could easily make it like stupidly easy or stupidly impossible oh, i don't God. know how you balance that ai but um i don't know if surround had uh oh i gotta put this on here before this overheats oh poor camera um uh did surround have a single player version i'm sure there's ai out there um ai scripts for this game yeah out there that you can copy or have a look at and how they did it how they implemented it I mean, on the Atari 2600, it's always a big challenge implementing any kind of AI. Oh, yeah. You have to cut corners usually quite a bit. I imagine. Okay, so let's go on to uh, game number four, Climber 5 by Zype. Cool. Which is Epics backwards. Original, normal, advanced. I'm thinking normal, um, or should we do original? Let's start with the original. That's okay. the first one on there. Sounds good. Um, but first... 2004, yeah, man. Yeah, we're going back in time. This, uh, all four of these games are ports that we're playing today, amazingly enough. Um, so this was originally made for the Atari 8-bit um, computer wow. as well. And so we're going to take a look at that, another video, very quickly. Awesome. And uh, see what... This the is a multimedia one. stream today. It's yeah, nice. I it's... love doing this kind of stuff and, and bringing in like, oh, what did it look like before and what did it, uh, how did they change it? And we get to learn about James's uh, uh, search histories by what is recommended. That's no, me. they don't. You do, <laughs> but they don't. They don't? Okay, good. Because <laughs> I go full screen. You go full screen before you switch. <laughs> smart man yeah. there's nothing crazy it's just no. it's interesting how personal that is though actually it in, is. in 2019 yeah. for someone to see like oh what the mo videos that are recommended for you yeah it's crazy okay, okay so let's, let's do go it. there and switch over wow <clears throat> i feel like i've so climber five i don't think i've played this game but it looks similar to stuff that there's we've done. there's games like this um so you're the little dude and you've lost your baseball at the top of a building. Hey, this is like... I don't hear any sound. Let's see. Oh, it's just quiet on our end. There we go. And there's little walls that come and crush you. The original has some less features. Oh, okay. So that's always good when they elevate it and make it a, yeah. bit, a bit more interesting. Um, so this was uh, for the Atari 8-bit. Wow, this is cool, man. It's got a little Whoa. five on there. Oh, you're in trouble. Oh, you made it. This guy's pretty good. So you made it to level two. So you got to get your timing down, right? I see what's and going on. Retrieve your baseball. So this gives us a little hint on how to play. Yeah, it there seems so we get the idea. thorough. Like being, you know, be really taking your time. Yeah. And who hasn't been there trying to climb uh, 90 ladders to get their baseball? <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, it happens all the time. This is, the, it's, it's totally this is understandable. every Saturday for me. <laughs> let's switch back. Good let's set up going here. It really it's works It's starting well. to flip through. Yeah, should I jump in or should we Yeah, wait? let's do the original. So I'm guessing original would be like, I'm trying Whoa, to... Whoa, okay, this is slow. <laughs> I'm trying to emulate like the Atari 8-bit version of it. Like, I feel like I'm in molasses. You know? Yeah, when it goes to level 2, it's it's normal. I don't know why they made it so chunky slow in the first level. Because it wasn't that slow in the Atari 8-bit version, was it? Maybe to make it easier? 
I mean, you had to start to kind of ramp it up a yeah. little bit. That's smart. Once it gets to level two, then it's like, okay, yeah. Okay. This is more I think normal. I got it. I think you did. First try. Oh, there you okay, go. Good. That's how a level one should be. Yes. Like, you can do it. It's not super easy, but it's totally doable. Then level two, it's like, okay, now we're going to make it a little bit harder. So let me read a little bit about It was nice to this. watch the video. I definitely um, yeah, feel like that, that gave me an advantage for sure. So this is by Dennis Debro, a.k.a. Deb, Debro. Hey, Debro. level two. Debro. Debro. Um, so this is from 2004, as it showed in the uh, title screen. Uh, and it first was posted in 2003. It's really hard to track down information about games this old because the, the forums is, gets a little sketchy when it gets older like this. Um <clears throat> But this is a oh, game. Oh no! Oh, I needed to needed to preemptively do it. But this is a game for sale in the uh, Atari Age store. Your head's gonna get hit. There you go. <sighs> wow. See, but that's, but that's the level of timing you gotta get with this. Yeah. Uh, is a port by Dennis Debro of an eight Atari eight bit computer game that originally appeared in Compute Magazine back in nineteen eighty seven. In Climber, oh, <clears throat> you pl play the role of Whoa. a baseball player. The baseball has been hit to the upper rafters oh, of a building God. under construction. <laughs> <laughs> all info in the Stella mailing list. Oh, is that where I have to go for all this? Oh, okay, man, this so I'll look tough. for the Stella mailing list um, for information about early games. That's a good hint. Thank you very much, Thrust. Oh, no. 26. Um, <clears throat> your job is to climb the ladders and retrieve the ball. Should I do original yeah, again? Uh, or no, because we saw the original, and this is about changing it up. So this is Whoa, okay. normal level. This is totally different. Um, okay, we're going <laughs> to gonna, gonna, <clears throat> gonna try some stuff out. Okay. Uh, so we've got some flashing. We've got a lot of stuff going on. Hmm, once you success... Oh, of course, there are obstacles Whoa. along the way that you need to avoid. Whoa. Or you lose a life, and you must start over in the bottom right. Okay. Once you successfully retrieve uh, the ball, the level changes and becomes more difficult. You can view a screenshot. Blah blah blah. blah. Uh, no, no, friends. Aww. No, no, no. You're dead. Does the flashing mean you can pass through them? It must. It must. Um, it's random and looks like you could get crushed at some points. Yeah. And that's a way to get through them. This is a got pretty. Fire lucky. button. He says. Ah. There you go. What does that do? Changed every the direction of everything. Because I don't have the manual, and I don't think the manual's available. Let me just do a quick search, because that will help. Hey, level one. Because I don't actually own this game. But does the fire button, like, uh, is there a limited, like, amount that you can oh, use Oh, it, it? it does cut down your time. Oh, so you don't want to use it very much. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. But it is one of those things where, like, you use it when you need it. Yeah. yeah. Um, Thrust, do you know if the flashing is anything? Oh, my guy is a lot you, faster. Can you pass through it when it's flashing? Whoa! Ah, oh, you see that? Maybe I can get the manual here. Nope, I can't get the manual. <clears throat> nope, so we're going to have to just wing it <laughs> for instructions. Because this is obviously different than the original game. There's much more to it. Um, but there was a label contest for this. And the person who won the label contest... Flashing indicates they will turn soon. Thank you very much. Oh, oh sick, Oh, I man. see. Okay, so you're safe if you watch them to start flash. You're like, so, oh, okay. Uh-oh. See, like, I have to... You have to get like on the other side of that guy. There you go. And then some. And the baseball changes position. That's bizarre. <laughs> Magically okay. Well, I made it to level five. That shooting it's is the ice level. Whoa. Remember the button. Yeah, it was just. It was just. Oh, my turn. Yeah, jump in, man. Um, this is cooler. I like this one a lot better. Oh, it's old school. It just takes a moment. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. Oh, did it? Am I on? Yeah, no, level I'm one. On, uh, normal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Normal's definitely. Uh, so that's going to change directions. Yeah, don't be afraid I'm to. I'm going use to the... change that one's direction. I'm going to change those directions and go for it. Hey. Ha ha. Hooray. Now we've sped up a little bit. 
and they do pass through um they don't just go bounce it back and forth they pass through uh from left to right and right to sometimes left. and sometimes they bounce right yes just when depends on the one because some of them almost um, uh, go like only a little bit. They go like halfway and like back and circle around. They have like a loop, it seems. Is this like Spelunky? I don't know what Spelunky is, but maybe. Mm, I don't know. There's... Ah! See, that's the tough thing sometimes. These... I wasn't watching. It was flashing, I guess, because it was... Um, Whoa. Yeah, that's like a... I just uh, used, I, I used these very liberally uh, <laughs> on this level. Yes. Well, that's going to change, so I'm safe. It's gonna change. It's gonna change. There we go. Very nice. I love the dynamics of this. Like the the changing really well, yeah. adds a lot it, to and it. And it's so nice that it gives you an indication once you figure out like what that means. Get, yeah, it does. This is this is great. And it's cool because you can use the fire buttons just to blast through the levels. If yeah. You just, if like, you're having some trouble, uh, like it's coming for you. But then if you wanted to go for high scores, you have to play it slightly differently, which is such a nice mechanic yes. because it's like, it's nice to be able to like just beat a game if you want to just like experience it, which yes. is totally, I couldn't get past this level. Um, but then if you, but then there's like, there's, there's room to keep playing. Yeah. It's like, it, yeah, the, the button is like, okay, you can. It's you like, can save yourself and keep playing, but you're not going to get the highest of scores. It's like it has an end game almost, you know? It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. No, stop it. Look at that guy. He insisted on going to the right. That one was impossible, right? Because you couldn't no. have... It, you had to... Cause it, can, see, it can warp over. It this can... one won't, though. Because some, some of them won't warp, Oh, the top right? one won't? So some of them oh. will, some of them won't, right? So you needed to tuck down and then... Oh, is that guy the top never... Oh, sometimes it loops, sometimes it doesn't. It okay. just depends. You have to just learn the pattern of the individual. Because, like, see, this one loops, but then the top one doesn't. So, yeah, that's all you yeah, need. So, now you're fine. that's why. Now, yeah, I think that's it. The top one does really, really, really... I think that's a bug, it dude. Took too long? That was no, a no. I think it's just taken too oh, long. Oh, shit. Yeah. What? Oh, a yeah, because you only had so much. Oh, and I wasted it by... Wow. Okay, but it gets this hard. is going to be a bit easier. Uh, oh, yeah, that is. <laughs> it's, it was a gimme. Yeah, high score went up a bit. That feels buggy. Uh, I don't know if that's that was a that was a bug no, or if that was... I a... think it's on purpose to get you moving. Whoa. To keep, to keep the challenge up. Yeah. There's only one way with that one. Yeah. But see, this one, I, I think... Pass this through. one passes. See, because some do and some don't, right? So this yeah, one does. So, okay. But then that one that you were on didn't. You took too long to get the ball. Yeah. Oh, rough. This is just because you hit that thing too much, probably. Maybe I'll buy this game. This is, this is a cool. lot more dynamic than I thought it was. I put this on a list to buy, man. This is definitely, yeah. and I love the fact that like you can play it like multiple times too. Oh so this God. one's gonna be very interesting. I don't know how you're gonna do this. No, it oh. passes through. I can do it. It's insisting on. Oh, I ran out of time. Yeah, I that's when you needed, it was one you, you needed away. to like duck under and hop on the Sixteen three hundred. There you go. So we go. Should we go to the? Advanced? Yeah, we should try advanced just just so we try it out. Yeah. Oh boy. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. Now we're in trouble. Now some this stuff's getting real. Oh, some of that's good though. I think. Is it? I played it. Get that. Get that. Uh oh. I think there's some good there's stuff and so bad much stuff. We can do, um, thrust. I'll see it. Hammer I'm, on your head? Not good. No, not good. Um, thrust, can you verify that but some this of is these good? are... Yeah. Yeah, see. Did it give you more time? I'll give you points. What's that the, doesn't look good. No. Looks like a big weight. It's a weight. That, that looks bad. <laughs> looks like a brick. Let's see if we can get past level one, friends. No, I wouldn't get that. That one looks good. It's like a little butterfly or a bee yeah. or something. Yeah, and see now it's going to move on me. Dude, I've did you see that? Oh, did it move? Yeah. Oh, it's not too far. I just knew it. I oh, Thrust like... has no instructions. Oh, of course it's like right there. Rough. He just knows how to play. We are playing the advanced level, so. Yeah, it's not surprising that you would die on the... Get that. Is that good? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, I gave you points, 200 points. Okay, good. I thought oh. I just killed my score for a second. I was like, <laughs> it looked like it. Oh, guys. Uh, I think that one's good, I think too. that one was good, but... It's like a steering wheel. And it drops right in your head, too, or near you, Whoa. right? Okay. That is... No. 
It's not what we want. Is it always dropping near you? Or dropping Slooping directly around. where you are? Yeah. Okay, good. That one loops, which is good. Once you learn the layout, it's a bit easier. And you're watching for flashing of the ones you're getting near. And you're like, okay, that's going to turn around. Like, I'm see. all good. And then you can... Oh, you could have waited that one out. Yeah, but I, you know... But then Get the others, f the fear of waiting Whoa. some... Weird, fear of waiting something out, though, is that you don't know if it's going to, like, your little ball's going to, like, disappear on you. That's true as well. that's the challenge. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm scared. Doing really good for the advanced version. Uh, uh, oh, oh. You were fighting against it each time. I was fighting myself. It was turning around. Was... Okay. No, not steering wheel Atari Age symbol. Hey, that's right. I oh, it's to... the Atari Age logo is the the steering wheel. Yeah, one. who doesn't want some Atari age falling on your one? head? No, no I'm going to reset. <laughs> Just testing. Make sure. Nope, not that. I don't think it actually reset. Cause... Yeah, I think it did. It flashed. Okay, cool. I want that. Nope, missed it. Is that good? Okay, good. Yeah, 100 points. They're all... Mr. S. Because he's got an S on his back, right? <laughs> Mr. S needs his coffee. Yes. All right. Good. Yeah, this is a cool game, Thrust. Yeah. For sure, man. This is interesting. I know I haven't... I've played something, Stop stuff like me. this, but not exactly, which is really cool. It's it's yeah. always an interesting thing when you pick up a game and you feel like you've already played it, but it's fresh at the same time. Mm -hmm. they, they put a twist on it, right? Yeah. Um, and then once you learn some of the basic instructions, the flashing trick really helped. Yeah. You gotta move oh bandits down. God. It's awful. Turn around. There we go. And the flashing... That's no, not keeps them out of sync too so they're not always I moving think together you're done. oh my god just time this is not enough time you gotta go like go for it immediately careful it's gonna wrap just, you can't it do it fighting me you can't do it right that one is that, that one, a thing no like, that one was the edge of it was the left right mm. so so now you're fine because it's it's good it's not gonna hit you it was just it was just the way that it was the only way to the only way to do it was to dodge it. See, that one's the same, right? Right. Where? Um, oh. So wait for it to wrap around. Wait for it to go on that side, right? Right. And so, then. Oh, each of them has like a center point. Exactly. You don't got, know where that center got, point is. They've got like is. an edge, so it has like a range, and you just don't know what that Interesting. spot is. Interesting. So like this one's edge is there, and then this one's edge is yeah. So this yes. one's easy. Ah! Every time, man. This one, I'll get it. Oh my oh. god! You can't use that switch thing too much. No, especially in advanced. One more round each, I think. So the S is a five. Why is it a five? Is oh, because that... it's climber five. Ah, that makes sense. Oh, okay. Okay. It's so funny. I'm like, look at the S. For Just, Superman. Oh. Do you want to do over? <laughs> yeah. Just because that's, that's pretty that's bad. pathetic. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to die immediately. That's not good. So we figured out another mechanic of the game is that each thing has a center point. Yeah. But you don't know where that center point is. Well, if you watch the flashing, you know where the center point is. So you can't fight its center point. Yeah. You have to let it go exactly. past. Exactly. Yeah, so this that one, helps so see, a lot. So see, this one's center point is like back there. But yeah. see, instead, I'm going to wait, right? Because this one's... Yes. Oh, it's not too far away, though. If you don't press the button too much, you'll be okay. So this one's going to wrap around and I think I'm pretty good. Yeah, you're good. You got lots of time. I think I got this. Okay, we got it. We know what we're doing now. And we can't wrap around. So that one, uh, I had to just... You had to do it. You could have sent it the other way. I have to send it the other way. There's no, there's no, no option. Other option. Yeah. And that's a cool thing, and I think it changes each time. I don't, I don't, I haven't memorized yes. the, oh, yeah. the positions. I think if they were the same, I would have noticed. But I mean, I'm, I'm not that clever. Like, it's also very possible that <laughs> yeah, that's too not, many to that that's not the of. case. So this one's gonna be interesting, right? I don't yeah, quite you... know how I'm gonna do it. So like with this, I think you have to. Yeah, I don't know. No, I, I have to come at it from another side. Yeah, you'd have to come at it from the left because yeah. their center points are so timed up. Well, now they're up. Now they're out of sync, so it's a little bit yeah, easier. Yeah, but how that one was. You wouldn't have been able to do it. You'd have to go to the left. 
Yeah. So, so there is a oh. bit of a bit of strategy Rough, man. in that regard. So this one I got now. Oh. oh. Damn. Okay, that yeah, was that was some that was... worse than last time. Well, but no, that was just bad luck. Like literally, oh, as yeah. I'm moving towards it, it comes and strikes. I because he's not moving fast enough for me to dodge it at this level. No, he's very slow, and I think the things falling don't 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 slow down. So like, you see how like how long it took you? Like if, because I was on the top, it was just bad luck, right? Yeah, you have no time to move out of the so way. So there's and that's cool. I like I like that there's some sort of luck factors to these games, right? Yeah. Oh, nice. Hey. Nice repositioning. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was See, that's why you got lucky in a good yeah, way on that one. It's luck. Oh, so, yeah, you don't want to. No, don't want to do that. I'll wait for that one to change. Yeah. yeah. See, that's helping knowing these things. No, no, no. Oh. See, that's where, and there's almost nothing you could do, right? No, I couldn't like, turn around Like, you could have dodged it potentially. Maybe. Maybe. But advanced is the yes. way it's at. I think yeah, this, this is, is more the fun. Game. This I, is the real I, game. Like I, like, I don't think I could play the other ones a lot. I could play this a lot. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's really good to just turn it up to the hardest difficulty and play it. Like, that's a really yeah. good method sometimes. My, my One of my old roommates, Holy that's how he used to game with everything. Like, he, go to the full? Yeah, every game he did, he, he beat it on the hardest difficulty. Wow. Um, Usually those are almost impossible, um, some of them. Yeah, he, he would hardest. be screaming at his TV sometimes. He was, <laughs> oh, there, yeah. was, there was for sure some games that sucked. Level but, four! But, like, it, but it is cool because often in some games, though, the hardest difficulty is the most complete. And in this case, it is. It is. Yeah, this is. Yeah. And he used to play stealth games, and those are fun because if you play a stealth game at hardest capacity, you have to play it perfectly. Really stealth, yeah. I turn around. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Yeah, I can. You can always back. knock it back, and yeah. now you just got to make sure. Hopefully, nothing. Oh my God! Seriously, I was oh, one pixel away. Rough, dude. Oh my God! And then I was gonna God. say again. Hopefully, it's dangerous nothing... at the top. Yeah, it's really dangerous. Because it's can hit, it can like it hit can hit you immediately. I like the sound too. You just know it's the sound of death. But it could Coming. be a, it could be like points. That's the other cool part about it, right? Yeah. Because when you were walking, you got some extra points. So it's actually that's pretty balanced, I'd say. Yeah. Because even though there's high risk, it's also high reward. Oh my God. So this is one where you've got to um, ideally. I can't do it. I, I'd have to go to the other. I, I don't know what I'd do. I'd have to go all the way back around. I'm yeah. gonna die. Oh my God! What oh a, good. Look oh. at it. It's right there. Yay! <sighs> no lives left. Ice oh, level it. on advanced. Yeah, this is. We'll see how is, you do. This is the game. This is where it's at, man. I love the fact that there's this sort of um, uh, luck factor too. Oh, it's a huge luck. And it's factor. so good that that he has power ups combined with uh, killing. If this were just only things that murder you, it would it would be so frustrating. I think games need to have a little bit of randomness. Yes. So that. You know, even if you're good, there's always a challenge coming towards you. And then on the other end, even if you're really bad, there's always a chance that you could kind of luck into something good. Yeah, because those good things coming down. Oh, that's that's the... nice. It goes, oh, that's awesome. It goes back to the screen. So it shows you the... I have never seen a homebrew do that. That's smart. That's really good. And this was 2004. Yeah, man. It's a, From and back and Thrust forth. said uh, he realized he's got the instructions because he has the part. <laughs> oh, so you do have the and instructions. So there's a card of this, eh? Yeah. Yeah, you can buy this in the Atari Age store right now. Dude, I recommend... I think I'm going to get this. This is really good. Throw it on one of the um, games nights. Yes. That would be great. I, I'd, I'd love to chill out and try to see how far I could get in advance. It's definitely one that would be... I bet you this would That's get some people bad. would for sure play it, too. You could. I think so. Yeah. Um, better than some of those crazy Vectrex games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not yeah. that there's anything wrong with Vectrex, but Don't I remember trying talk to... talk trash about the Vectrex. It's a great, but there's some... I mean, some of them are so hard. Yeah, they are, That's yeah. what I mean, where they're, they're very This is a more, much more approachable, especially on the easy version. That's what I mean for, like, a games night when, like, people come by and, like... Oh, there's different points. Oh, cool. Cup is 100, Teddy Bear's 300, Butterfly's 500. 500. Atari Logo's 700. 700 and oh, then you have the Hammer good. Lunchbox and Brick. Oh, okay. And the the little objects falling are very identifiable. 
Yeah. Which is which is good. Yeah. And then highly you, recommend and it. And when you're near the top, it's just like. Oh. Yeah, smash. Um, so, four games today. We have Billy wow. the Ball, which is very early in stages right now. But looking great. Yeah, yeah uh, looking great. Potential is insane. It is huge. So just give us some levels, and you got a game, man. Yeah. Um, White Rotter Madness. I think some suggestions that we gave will enhance. Definitely. Enhance it a bit, especially the music. Please just tone down the music to. Yeah. G uh, maybe simpler music, less less constant. And um, put in the sound effects like the water and yeah. the paddling. That'll add a lot. I've to got it. a new rule, rule which yeah. is when in doubt with the sound, ask I supposed to. Yeah, he and he'll knows. give you some good suggestions. I think his suggestion was the best. If, yeah. If you want, if you want sound advice, he's the dude to go use, to. Use the white noise for the for the water. Yeah. <sighs> That's great. Uh, Katron, great start to the game. I mean, it's already playable, um, but uh, a couple more things yeah. to make it. Um, go above light, Tron light cycle, so it's just a bit more exciting. Yeah, and um, then I and I do think that um, uh, it takes AI. some more practice, but I do think if you do play it, I do recommend the controller, the one that's uh, that's this it's was a lot more fun. If we had if we five hundred XJ epics, yeah, if we played clicky. it with two of those, that would be fun. And just for I've got lots of them. I'm sure you do. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm just just for the the folks at home, it's like make sure that you have matching controllers so nobody yeah. complains. You're on an evil even playing field because right. there's always that joke about the. The person that comes over gets the crappy third-party joystick. That's right. Yeah, because <laughs> um, it doesn't. That's a game where it makes a big difference. A lot of games Huge. it doesn't, it's but so that was precise. And I found there was a bit of a. I had to almost be. It was. It was a slightly preemptive. It's mm -hmm. a weird one because you almost had to hit it right before you move, because if you were too late, it's a very small amount of time yeah. to do the changing. Um, but uh, but that's also just skill, right? I mean, if I if if I was getting a little better by yes, the end, you for were sure, totally. I better. could feel a huge difference, but the controller made a big difference, and you probably felt it too that it's. Uh, oh, that's um, a way better controller yeah. for that game. That game because it's a precision movement game, and that joystick is incredible for precision movement games. So you have to pick the right controller for the right game. Some games it's not as big of a deal, like an RPG, whatever. Oh no, it's even free this is free not movement. huge, but something where it's like the literally. Click. You gotta Click. hit the pixel or else you're yeah. dead. I suppose it says thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so fun bunch of games as per usual. Love playing new homebrew. Yeah, man. On, on the show and showing off people's work. Um, what do we have coming up? Not too much. I think I have one game scheduled so far for the next uh, episode. Let me see what that is. Because I can't keep track of all these games. Uh, we have Space Treat Deluxe, and that's an old school game. Um, I'm sure I'll find, because I've got all of these down here. Yeah, That are, that are yeah. like, on, on, in, ready to go. So I always keep a nice roster of them. Oh, yeah, to, and then we've got bit. the, the secret, you know what I mean? We've got the Dan Kitchen games. Yeah, that's, that, who knows when that's going to come in. And the, it'll, when it drops, it drops, man. Yep, yep, you got to be ready, but I'll, I'll give you a warning. Yeah, I'll give you a warning. Um... Starting your scheduled scan. That's awesome. Play Warring Worms next Wednesday. What's that? Do I have that on the list? I do have that on the list. Warring Worms. Okay, so I'll take a look into that. And I Thanks, think, Impaler. I think that's, you know, that Worms. What is that? Worms, where they fire things at each oh, other? Oh, that's a fun one. I used to play that one all the time. And, called, and it's just called Worms. It's just called Worms, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you have I to, like, that you might do the it. trajectory and it fires. Yeah, I think that's a two-player game. Yeah, definitely. So you want to play that? Yeah, I'm down. I used to um, play that in okay, the... Okay, I'll throw that on next Wednesday. In the library, we would always, Perfect. like... you've got a history with it. Yeah, my friends and I, whenever... Um, I already said this on the show, but there was always the choice... Um, when there was a school dance, you could either hang out in the library or computer lab and play games, <laughs> or go to yeah. the dance. Forget that dance. And yeah, man, I was, I was, I, I went to zero dances in middle school. <laughs> That's how many I would go to if that was an option. And w we used to have um, uh, Unreal Tournament land through everything, so we would just like we had our own thing. <laughs> so, so uh, that was our, our so. And Worms was one that we would play a lot. Oh, it's like Tron was shooting at it. Oh, okay, oh, okay. it's not okay. Worms then. Oh, that's sure, okay. I'm sure there are some games like that. We haven't had, we haven't played one on the show where no. it's like tanks and shooting. Kinda, you that could be do totally done. Oh yeah. Using the play field as dirt, and player one 
player zero missiles and you have different ones like you have different like bullets bombs different kinds of things that have yeah. different effects totally scorched doable. earth I did, I did. scorched earth that was the original way back in the day damn yeah. okay thanks kev that's that the helps one. us yeah. out man kev and i played scorched earth back in the day yeah yeah so let's thank everybody for coming yeah kev, this was a great day thrust 26 and paler i supposed to I know there's some names way back here. Uh, Dan, Dan ABC, Ascabo, thanks for making that. Yeah, uh, that was uh, awesome. Katron game. Carl uh, G. Carl G. MMB twenty one twenty two. That's a new name. Uh, Carl G. Uh, RC seven E. Yeah. Uh, Mu Dan for dropping in. Damn. Tiki Dan. Tiki Dan K. Pac Man Red. Uh, Wink Dot and anyone and Paler Twenty Six, tons of people dropping in today. Yeah, and if you haven't po like haven't um, written in the comments or anything, you're just hanging out. Like, thanks, thanks for hanging out yeah, too. Dude. And everybody on YouTube, thanks for watching it after. Definitely, we get a ton of views on YouTube after. Yeah. So thank you to those people who watch it after, because not everybody has, you know, works at home or you know it doesn't line up with their schedule right but um, so th there were people that were um saying something about like um mm -hmm. uh like the dvd or the best of i mean i'm just gonna say i Go i think it, people <laughs> I, yeah that's what i was thinking if you <laughs> want to work if you want to do that i think you i'm sure i give permission you give permission if you want to do a download or something that's oh you totally... can download all the all the youtube stuff but if someone wanted can... to package it up and do that, if that was something you you dug, I don't think either of us are going to do it. But if that's something, I don't have time. I have lots of projects on the much. go. But if that's something you want to do, feel free, man. That's that's cool. And just let us yeah. know if you do. That would be the only thing that would be. Right. Sweet. But if you give me maybe if you give me timings of each of the shows and you think these are the cool clips, maybe I'll put together a best. Yeah, one. if someone does that, hell yeah. Yeah, that'd be easy. Yeah, show timing, give a huge list to them. I'll put them Jim's in order. Will do it. Yeah, yeah. man uh artillery duel equals scorched earth does it does it have like ground that breaks away and multiple weaponry and stuff let's take a look this looks promising my friend this looks let's very promising see. oh yeah okay artillery duel is it a uh oh that's what's that a, a hide your face video would be homebrew. great what that's do you not... mean by that <laughs> hide your face video uh that's not a homebrew though so Sorry, can't play it on the show. Oh, no. Yeah, that was released by uh, Zonox. Zonox? Is that how you pronounce it? Um, back in the day. So that's... No. Can't play that. Sorry. <laughs> so if somebody's made a homebrew version of it, uh, that would work. But it looks really good. Yeah. Like, it's got the breakaway... Um, there's a homebrew. Thrust says there's a homebrew. What's it called? Come on, Thrust. Hit us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love this these games. The They're oh, so really... cool. Oh, it's uh, randomly generating land, too. Oh, they did a great job. Yeah, Homie on the Rights got challenge. Homie you on guys aren't seeing it, but we're just looking at it. Incoming. Awesome. So just send me um, send me links to... Yeah, actually, if anybody has any homebrew that you want us to play on the show, please send it over. It could be brand new. It could be back in the day. It could be at any time. And if you, we have not played it before, please send it in. Yeah, and uh, or if tell we, us your or favorite if we homebrew. played it before, and there's a big update, like there's something really yeah, new it's with work it. Work in progress stuff. Um, yeah. Let us know too, like yeah. whatever you've got, because that's that's always fun. Yeah, and I try and keep up. I, I visit the forums every day. So yeah, I'm pretty up to date on on updates, but I may have missed some. You never. Yeah, know. you know, nobody's perfect. Yeah. So thanks for hanging out. We'll be back on Friday. It'll be an evening show. It'll be Friday at six p.m. 9 p.m. Eastern. I think it's 2 a.m. in in uh, in Europe. So good luck with that. <laughs> so you're probably not going to watch it in Europe, but uh, that's with Tanya. Um, and then uh, you'll be back next Wednesday. Oh hell yeah! Awesome. Every Wednesday. So thanks for hanging out with us yet again, and uh, and we will see you on Friday, and you'll see him on Wednesday. Donkey Kong Arcade 2600 work in progress. Have we not played? I swear we did a. F a Donkey Kong. Uh, I didn't, but you probably did. Yeah, we we did a Donkey Kong. All the different Donkey Kongs. Maybe it's been updated. Okay, but anyway, something to look at. So thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you later. Bye bye. Bye.